Hello everybody and welcome to Chaotic Neutral Games. I'm your DM, Simon, and uh, I'll be joined in just a moment with Felicia, Kate, Corinne and Nick. This is... I can't even remember what episode this is. It's its chugging along, certainly, and uh, soon even our 100th episode is going to be uh, along uh, uh, very, very soon. I just have to think of something interesting to do for that one. In the meantime, we have been taking somewhat of a hiatus from adventuring and demons and the general machinations of Ostagar. And for the last few sessions, we have been in the exotic country of Austran. Very notably, 
the home of our resident Tabaxi Naru, Eclipse of the Moon. There they found that life is very different. Uh, there's a sense of wonder and adventure, very different juxtaposition to a number of the cities they've been in before. Certainly Ostergold and definitely Atal Zaran, the region, several cities there. They have unearthed a few strange truths. They have learned a little bit more about Juradan the Great, the uh, obsession of our uh, feline rogue. And yet, they've had somewhat of a relaxing time. And some of the issues that they've uh, had to deal with have been nothing to do with them and seemingly very easily fixed. Um, turns out that Eclipse's sister has been uh, cut into indentured servitude to pay off her trespassing um, from the shores of Scala, quickly solved, or at least promised to be solved, uh, by our resident Scala noble, Glory Tesca Kogel. Yeah, um, that's not going to turn out bad at all. However, life goes on in Naruka, the city of the Naru, and they are enjoying little bit of a shopping episode and Eclipse and Farewell Bare Bones have gone off to the seaside and that's where we're going to uh, we're going to join them now in episode I can't remember of the benefit. And welcome back, everybody. Um, sorry for the little switch over. We all had a panic attack when something happened that we'd never seen before. A subscription. Actually, we have seen one. Uh, we have seen one before. We, we um, have, yes. But, uh, but I, thank, I you panicked. thank you, Jordan. To yes. Thank Jordan. you so much. <laughs> uh, there are some benefits that come with uh, being one of the benefactors of the benefactor. And that is that uh, I'll be adding you into a secret special room in our Discord, Jordan. Um, and uh, I will be conspiring with you regarding uh, some of the character plot line and some of the other plot line in The Benefactor and in some of the other games that I run. Uh, so uh, when we have subs uh, subscribers, we've only had them once before, um, I try to make it so that uh, every week I will throw something in there that you can decide upon. It can be a choice between one particular D&D &D monster or another, or it can be a particular thing I throw in the path, um, all sorts of stuff. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we will, uh, you have more conspiracy against your, well, your poor green boy and uh, your uh, poor, the rest of us. Uh, plum and girl? the rest of us. Uh, yeah. I was about to say, I was going to go through the colours, but I, I, I yeah, can't. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> I'm looking for a glory picture now. Yes, um, <laughs> I, I'm sure most of you guys who are watching already know this, but you can, with Twitch Prime, subscribe for free to anyone that you are watching. And you can take Jeff Bezos' money to and give it to us instead. <laughs> give us Jeff Bezos' money. <laughs> 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 we we will unashamedly take Jeff Bezos's money. Yep, from yep, him. yep. Unashamedly. Yep. Yes. And we will send him receipts as well. Just tons and tons of receipts. Just the whole lot. <laughs> um, anyway, 
<laughs> so, you guys, this is your last session in Naruka. I'm calling it. If not, I will, I will, I will make something dead. happen. Next session, okay. you're all dead. He's, 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 he's going to either A, mercer us with loads of dragons, or B, destroy our precious floating boats. Yeah. <laughs> Let's protect the boats at all costs. <laughs> Give us dragons, we don't care, and but back keep to our boats. Gargle, the boat gets it. <laughs> We have two boats that are like folding boats that can like turn. And like a little small. brick. Good, okay. I, can, I can trash the first one to show you that I'm serious and then. No! You can't! No. No. You can't! My boat! <laughs> so, you are in Nuruka. And when we last left off, uh, Felicia had just bought a huge um, black velvet mask from one of the stalls in Nuruka, knowing nothing of the cultural significance. Um, and Kate had picked up uh, some interesting enchanted... Um, I, uh, there, there was some I lockets them a, and there uh, like was a, some... A memory frames, mirror, yeah. but I don't know if that's the real term, yeah. but for me it's a memory So mirror. there were two types. There was one that uh, gave scenes of various Naru on their journeys. And then there was, uh, and that was just random. Each time you you put the frame down and put it back up, there was another there was another image. Um, and then there's uh, the second one was a a type of locket that when you opened it up, um, it's uh, it Did aided I... you in remembering uh, lost loved ones. I don't think I bought that. No. I don't. I don't think I could have. I decided I wouldn't spend my money on that one. I think. Yeah. Uh, they weren't that expensive, but I think you didn't. I think you just went for the picture frames. I wrote, I I'm sh swear I wrote it down somewhere. So I'm sure I'll double, you wrote, wrote I'll it double somewhere check. In the inventory. But I bought a bunch of material as well. Yeah. Um, however, we finished off at the end of last session with uh, eclipse and farewell at the beach, and uh, farewell suddenly getting an idea. So we are going to. Uh, cut over to them you can see that uh, you're surrounded by warm sand um, you can see a lot of uh, tabaxi frolicking in the water apparently the uh, skittishness around water of domestic cats not being translated over to, uh, to tabaxi and this is as peaceful a place as you can find Phil. certainly a a huge change compared to some of the places that you've been Okay, so um, as uh, we, we'll get a little metaphysical here, after all, what is stone? It is, at, you know, sandstone is a type of stone, ergo, sand is stone. Therefore, I, I've got no problem as long as the DM doesn't of using stone shape. And because of stone yep. shape, um, it allows me to create an object that has two hinges and a lap. And as long yep. as it's sort of no more than five feet in dimension, it can form any shape. So what I want to do in the first cast is basically create uh, a palisade, but rather than the, the crosshatch, it's got a little drawbridge at the front. <laughs> which I'm going to tie rope through. And because it can have a hinge, yeah. it can lower a drop, and it, it's actual sandstone. And then with my other cast, I want to create two sort of um, little towers. They'll only be like the front half of the towers. Mm -hmm. But I figure if I could create like a thin pole or like a ladder using it, so people can crawl at the top so that we can stand on top of our great cat, our great fortress entrance to the base. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to sort of, because there's like there's going to be like a, a, a platformer there. I'm going to stand in the middle above the drawbridge and yeah. like motion for Eclipse to come up. And then we're going to wait for the guys to come. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. Okay. So a, a five foot high uh, drawbridge and set of towers. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, so, you know, and they've it, got the little battlements as well, you know what I mean? They've got the thing, so, you know, it, it looks, in effect, like a literal front of a castle. Yeah. Uh, uh, only five foot like, high, yeah, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you watch as he's, he's there and he's just concentrating and muttering under his breath. 
uh, manipulating because I think it takes about a minute, doesn't it? Um, uh, let's have a look. Yes. It, well, technically, no. It's one action, so it's instantaneous. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. Goes... So yeah, you you walk straight up and you and the the sand just rises up to your command and forms <laughs> forms and fuses this um, this miniature sandstone castle. Totally that's very important. Use of two, two fourth level spells. <laughs> <laughs> very important. Yeah, I'm going to say castle. that you've got like two, yeah, two two and a half foot diameter by five foot tall turrets and a five foot by five foot, you know, main, for want of a better word, keep. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> it's kind of a big box. It's like a box that your oversized fridge would come in. But made out of sandstone. Uh, um, with a big look of glee on my face, though, in terms of clips, I'd be like, "You just wait until the rest and get in." <laughs> <laughs> Eclipse is very happy. <laughs> you can see that a lot of uh, um, young Naru are looking at you with fascination as to what is going to transpire uh you can see that uh, that there's a number of them and they they did they're doing the whole kind of cat hunting thing except they're not wiggling the butts uh mm. of the fact that they've just run up to the nearest like mini dune and suddenly just drop down and they're mm. kind of there watching to see what's going on <laughs> uh, and they're all talking to each other and saying what what is he doing and it's like i don't know i don't know he's, he's made, he made a thing and it's like what is this? He's like a he's like a sandmancer or something. I did. I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you wait there. The sun is beating down. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, even the people who have been playing in the waves stop for a second, look at you, and then suddenly somebody splashes somebody else, and they go back to it. So um, yeah, uh, Kate, Felicia, you follow the same instructions and. <laughs> When you get to the beach, there appears to be this tiny little palace. <laughs> and sat on top of it, cross-legged. Um, I've got to say, there's enough space for both of you. I mean, if, if it's five foot by five foot by five foot, that's actually quite a big square. I know we, we only allow one person in there during a battle, uh, but it's actually quite big. If you've ever mapped it out on the floor, it's pretty damn big. Yeah, um, um, you can sort of like extend it out a little bit and do what we need to do with it. Um, Farewell will um, clap his hands together and I'll cast um, Spirit Guardians. Everybody is considered to be friendly, just for the sake of not meat grindering innocence. Yeah. Um, and basically, imagine like a load of water genasi in like full, like honor guard regalia, like proper full on, like uh, armor and like, you know, like this the scene at the end of the Lord of the Rings where they're all on the top of the tower, they're all stood there with the banners and the things. Um, and like they're all, there's a line of them that lead up to sort of where the drawbridge is and just like a load up on the battlements and all that sort of stuff. And then he will, he's there towards you to go, who dares approach our keep? Name yourself. <laughs> yes, Snipe, uh, Nick has quite poor connection today because he's decided <laughs> that he's going to download Final Fantasy VII at the same time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently we come a close second close. it is an second. important thing to yeah. download like i'm with nick on this one <laughs> uh, it may be an important thing to download you know in what three hours time you know, yeah, yeah maybe uh, to be fair, it, <laughs> if it, starts it has now. been going since about three o'clock this afternoon when oh, finished work. Shit. Oh. <laughs> it's, nine, it's 90 gig and my connection is not that good oh boy 90 gig that should take like an hour or two you obviously haven't had internet in the United Kingdom <laughs> from BT. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. It is the worst. <sighs> no, but right. seriously, what kind of internet is that? I'm pretty sure I could download it faster on my phone. Not, not quite, Felicia. You, you, you. Again, your, your, your inner bubble of techness shows itself. That that is quite normal for other people. <laughs> Right. If it helps, I'll drop the video if it makes it 
me. No, 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 no. You're, you're absolutely fine. You just, you just froze while you did, did your big speech, but it's fine. Also, every now and again, you stop on the best faces. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours is great amusement. The chat had their moment to clip it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, feel free to clip. Um. Yeah. I, I'm just. Cora is just gonna s stop a little bit. Like when she sees this, because I think she's gonna be a, like she's probably gonna be walking back, just constantly doing the mirror thing, um, until she hears this. You can see these these guardians <laughs> just kind of floating around. <laughs> this. Um, okay, I well. do we see all the the little kittens and stuff like watching? Oh yeah, there, there, there's a good. I, I, I'm like building, like just on the like inside. I'm building, like I'm making like tiny little figurines of like <laughs> people. She's making um, the knockoff version of the terracotta army. Yeah. So. <laughs> Cora, uh, Cora is going to disguise self. As, I don't know these people. As actually, she'll do it as Eclipse. <laughs> or a very very close a very close to what eclipse is but like sure. in really grand like uh, uh um regalia and uh march up to the front door <laughs> and be like I, I will like with my illusion i will like create a fanfare <laughs> I, I, give her, the, I give her uh, a wink, although she probably can't see it. Like, like, <gasps> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, actually, maybe I won't do what I was going to do. And let me use my, uh, what is it called? It's the the that illusion thing in the glory house. Is it for Matorgi or is it... Your, your fireworks? Yeah. <laughs> I think no, you've got no. prestidigitation. I'm pretty sure you've got that. Yeah, yeah I've got prestidigitation. Uh, cause I was gonna make all the fake lanterns on the fort light up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean dancing lights? Yeah, that, oh, part yes, of that it. one I could use. Yeah. 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 The, the, the kittens are just absolutely lapping this up. They're, they're, they're like, <laughs> you know, pointing stuff out and all the rest of it. Just like, oh, what, 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 what is it doing with it? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, and, and you know the, the, the fanfare comes along and the fanfare kind of sounds like it's far away so they look up the road to see if there's more people coming and yeah i uh am great explorer uh tabaxi explorer who is uh tell the tale of eclipse of the moon who is uh who is a great uh, explorer herself, and will one day uh, have stories written about her. <laughs> and I, I, will try... use, I, I will use my hand in disguise and turn myself into Cora. <laughs> oh no! Cora, Cora Your shot. hat of disguise not make you shorter though, so you're but, still well, like the. Ditto. I, I'm like. I think I've got an illusion above me right now. I guess I don't know quite yeah, how I it don't works. Know how much you can change. Like the actual size, we might be uh, like a something like you can, you can shift by about a short. foot. So yeah. yeah, there's a slightly <laughs> tall Cora and a slightly shorter <laughs> Eclipse now. But yeah. the kids don't don't know what your right sizes are. So as far as they're concerned, they're like she turned into her and she turned into her, and they're kind of following it like it's a like a half written M Night Shyamalan script. They're like, but 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 she is her and she is her, you know, kind of thing. I demand you open the gates because. The, the eclipse is coming and they are, they are great. She looks similar to me, yes. but slightly different. I didn't think this completely <laughs> through. <laughs> I, I am waiting. I, I, I can't do Cora's accent. I am waiting for Sakura, the knight of the Feywild <laughs> of the Summer Court. <laughs> And they're kind of like, you know, oh, you know, I, I really did think you would be better at this than you are. I, mean, <laughs> oh. I Eldritch blast the doors. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's only five foot. It's like less than a meter thick. If you blow the door up, you blow the whole thing up. I just want to be top of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing this, Kate, yeah? I said it. I'm doing it. 
doing it. <laughs> you just watch as Eclipse of the Moon suddenly just flicks her fingers and your sandstone door just goes <laughs> It's like a cannon shot. The kids are all cheering, yay! Not because they think she's the good guy or the bad guy, but because anyone firing a cannon gets a cheer. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this is how kids work. And yes. uh, they're jumping up, yay! Does, does the top of the castle remain intact? Uh, yeah, I mean... There uh, that's yeah, good, that's fine. That, like, the... she wasn't intending to make Farewell fall five feet down onto the sand. Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, my uh, proper DM screen is over there, but I'm pretty sure that a five foot by five foot uh, you said sandstone You made it of sandstone, sandstone anyway, yeah. Yeah, because... Like, uh, technically, when he, when it is sandstone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah when yes. did... Yeah. Uh, uh, shape Earth. Uh, sorry, uh, um, was it Shape Stone? Um, stone Shape, yeah. Stone Shape, yeah. Uh, when he did that, as he said, sand is stone. So, you know, in the same way that he would normally make stone discorporate and then refuse, he's doing the same with the sand. So he just scooped up a load of sand um, magically and then fused it together as this sandstone lockbox. It's not the I mean, a, a Goliath with a mole wouldn't have any chance getting through the damn thing. But, you know, uh, I'm going to say, you know, with your 2d10 <clears> of uh, <throat> blasting damage, the very least you did is put a big old hole in the door. <laughs> you know? We're coming! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wa walking through. <laughs> is, it, is it like an actual little... Didn't no, it's just a gate. Very important people. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna. You just. I built a drawbridge so I could show you how the drawbridge worked. Why did you blow a hole in it? You said no to letting me in. Go with I it. I didn't get to finish before you blew the hole in. Okay, I will go find Eclipse and I walk back in. <laughs> finish the damn drawbridge. <laughs> <laughs> and I like find a little corner to nip behind, and and then I'm gonna I'm very change sadly in. lower the drawbridge. Sort <laughs> 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 of just like I, I, really, I, I really craply, like rather than the big fanfare and all the things that he had planned, he just very meekly and sadly and says it out. Like, there was this really sad it. sandstone slab with a bloody great big hole in it to the floor. <laughs> Cora comes back around the corner, actually looking like Eclipse. Uh, it is I, Eclipse of the Moon. And walks back up. Oh, you lowered the drawbridge. Good work. Eclipse at this point lost it completely. She's no longer looking at Cora. She's looking at herself and she's just rolling around. <laughs> So you walk uh, across the drawbridge and into the uh, Is it very, an enclosed thing or is this just a fake gate that we walk through it's and then we just... just yeah, it's just yes. like that we just walk straight like, out the other know, like, side. It's play houses that you yeah. can get. It's, it's like that, basically. It's just a front and then there's just nothing behind it. <laughs> when you get in through the drawbridge, there's a big cheer from the kids as well. They presume this is some sort of... Finale or I, I come back out <laughs> I and I give a bow and, and I go back in. up uh, fireworks. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Thankfully, kids aren't complicated on what they want in life. Um, so, <laughs> Ruddy Great Big Castle that got stormed, fireworks and people changing into different people uh, was more than enough for, uh, for these kids and, uh, and they, they, they're cheering and all the rest of it. Um, and then presuming that it is the end of the show, uh, yeah. they, uh, uh, they end up running off to go and tell their friends of what they've missed. I turn back into yes. Cora and, uh, and is, are you work. still sitting up the top, Farewell? Yeah. Farewell's just, he's just sort of sat down, he's got his feet dangling over the edge and just stares forlornly at the great big fucking hole in his drawbridge. Didn't you, re you didn't rebuild it? Oh, I, I'm going to scramble up I and sit next to you. It's a fourth level spell. It's a fourth level spell. one on you earlier and two building the damn thing. I can't fix it. I love it. I scramble up next to you and sit next to you. Ask Cora. I... 
I thought, uh, father, that you didn't like attention. <laughs> I was trying to build something nice and fun that the kids could use thereafter, but somebody decided to blow a bloody great big hole in it, didn't they? Ah, uh, something war-torn is so much more exciting. Do any of you have the mending cantrip? <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. No. 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 Okay. We don't mend things. That's... We break them. <laughs> I don't think we've ever fixed anything in our lives. <laughs> I have acid. That, that does not help. Oh. <laughs> that is very unhelpful, Glory. Not not helpful at all. <laughs> I can conjure an elemental, but I'm not sure that that's quite the same. No, that that is definitely not something we need to do right. I now, can like, turn it. I um I I does does Farrell look really upset? Yeah, he's really, really oh. upset. I <laughs> give him really I, I give him a hug, I'm like, I, sorry! I could potentially you, use I a make a show. invitation to colour your castle, but that's about it. I, I I jump back down and I start trying to smush sa wet sand into the sandstone <laughs> to like rebuild the wall the door. <laughs> uh, give me a oh god. Um Give me a, a wisdom check. <laughs> oh no. Without uh, proficiency. <laughs> You're not proficient in sand. I'm not proficient in sand? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> um, that was in sand. That was that was like the worst roll for a half thing. That was a two. Uh so <laughs> Wisdom saving throw, did you say? Wait, without proficiency. Uh, no, no, just a wisdom check. Oh, is them shit. It's like a five. Yeah, that's five, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So, you kind of stop her farewell as she's kind of burying your door. <laughs> so you're not going to be able to lift it at all. <laughs> Wait, it's the door. I don't really understand how this is built. There's doors so, and there's the There's a rectangle. Imagine a rectangle with yeah. two hinges on the left and right hand side. Yeah. And you've blown a chorus shaped hole because yeah. bearing in mind you only ever think things in your own dimensions <laughs> in through the middle of it that you then walked through with your eclipse like um costume and just pop through the other side so this there there's this like three to four foot high hole <laughs> in the middle of the drawbridge yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's about so three. So it's a door and a drawbridge yeah. at the same time. I, okay, I thought there was doors and yeah, so a drawbridge. Sort of, it's basically just, yeah, it's, that it's just a right. flap that goes like that. Yeah. yeah Think yeah. of it an upside down cat flap. It, it, it's yeah. it's up and then when it's down, the whole thing's open. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two oh. level four spell slots. <laughs> 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 He said no, and I was trying to make I was trying to make Eclipse look really good. Cora was desperately trying to make Eclipse like a legend amongst the kids, and uh, and he didn't open the door instantly. And I'm sorry, but that's like, that was like, well, we got to make it look good. Boom. Anyway. Tell you what, it's the best version of the three little pigs I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the big bad wolf goes, Eldridge blast, bitches. <laughs> yeah, made of stone. I don't care. <laughs> you know, this is like this is you know this is even worse than the dog tail thing. I mean, <laughs> at least I could have fixed that. You bring didn't. up the dog tail. <laughs> I do they even know about the dog tail? I was on my own. Yeah, you were on your Not own. Not gaming. No one, no one ever knows. No, one, you weren't there. <laughs> Yeah, for, that, for that's the my audience. Thing to, yeah. uh, um, that, the was, audience. that was many episodes ago. That was yeah, like the so first the episode audience, or something. Cora, Cora was ch being chased and um, she drops into like a kennel with a bunch of dogs and she decided to scare them. wants to eat me, to be honest, I think. Yeah. Um, it was invading its property. It did what dogs do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she she got in there and um, she fell into their kennel and to get them to not attack her, she decided to uh, 
throw an Elder Scrolls at them. Which, okay. New Warlock critted. didn't know how powerful she was. <laughs> yeah, she critted and blew the poor dog's tail off. So, <laughs> that, that is... That, that is the story of the tale. Yeah. 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 It wasn't yeah. intentional. It was a natural 20 I didn't mean to get. Uh... <laughs> Anyway. It was a natural twenty you didn't want to get. Yeah, well, that uh, it, just just like when I killed Eclipse, pretty much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That, that but we too. don't talk about that one. The dog's tail is much <laughs> more important. <laughs> it's yes. much more. I mean, yeah. But yeah. Uh, Eclipse gets what she gets. We got a, <laughs> got Eclipse straight back up again. That's true. Um, yeah, and I mean, so farewell. she hid. It was um, <laughs> it's her own fault for hiding. Like. <laughs> She was a cat jumping between boxes. And here we were, trying to fight a thing, and then suddenly she drops dead. Like, well, I didn't I didn't drop dead. I just went to zero hit points. I did not fit my death saving throws. That is, um... Yeah, because Farewell has immense uh, perception. Yeah, that too. Anyway. Anyway, speaking of Farewell. <laughs> Uh, he will uh, drop off the um, uh, the tower um, and will uh, basically look to start gathering some. Uh, well, no, he'll start just digging a pit. Yep. Because he'll want to start building just a little fire pit because I imagine it's getting closer to evening now. Uh, considering we've yeah. been digging them out for most of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming towards the end of the day. I will help Farrell with his endeavour of digging a fire pit, even though my strength is terrible. Uh, sure, it's, it's something that I you guys do as... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's something you guys do as standard. Yeah. Yeah. You mean something so... Farrell does as standard while uh, Glory watches? I was about to say, I, ain't I, that. I don't think Glory's ever done manual labour in her life. Ever. <laughs> So, you build a fire pit and get ready just to sit around, eat, and enjoy not being shot at, stabbed, uh, tentacles coming at you, all the usual things the that you've had mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and pretty certain that you are miles and miles away of any form of intrigue at the moment. This is something that Eclipse can possibly uh, attest to. They don't really like intrigues in Naruka. Uh, they do happen from time to time, but they are usually very swiftly resolved. Life just doesn't appeal to that side of all. Um, so yeah, uh, if there's anything you want to talk about or cross over in terms of your notes, um, over a meal, then do so now. Uh, Eclipse will just be generally thankful to Dory for helping her with her sister and stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'll send up a few messages when we get back to Ostergold. Uh, get that at least started. We'll see how fast they can move things. <sighs> That, that would be very much appreciated. Um, would not like her to be stuck there for the rest of her life. Depends on how yeah. good she is at what she does. You know, I, I mean, it's kind of a debt for life, though, isn't it? It's one of those things that no matter how good she does or how hard she works, there's always more debt to pay. There's yeah. always more money to yeah. give to them and you Life is used a up. Dragon, to be honest, farewell. Some of them are more honest about it, while others have uh, uh, the continued living cost and such adding into the debt, which would make it hard for the normal person to pay off. Uh, another reason why it's better we get her transferred uh, to my family's custody because. That is at least something that can be dealt with, if that's the case. 
Uh, I don't like the idea of anybody being indentured, so. Uh, but that is a very upsetting conversation for another time. Mm. What is I'll nice introduce is... you to the twins at some point. They are Maybe. vassals yeah. of uh, Hope. Uh, technically indentured, but I mean, they basically grew up with us. Yes, it is. I really hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I think I've met enough members of your family for some Oh, they're some not part of my time. family. They're uh, Genasi, actually. Uh, Auntie uh, uh, Muse picked them up on one of her travels. Orphans. Still. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, well, no, I mean, that, that, that sounds crueler than I mean it to be. Um, <laughs> it's um, fair, uh, Farewell. I know what you think of my family, and that's... that's okay. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop talking about that because I don't think I'm quite capable of articulating that properly. But um, it's nice not to be shot at for once. I mean, I can't, don't think ever since we met we've ever had this amount of time between, you know, mortal wounds or being woken up in the middle of the night through strange portals or finding monsters or demonic armies oh, or please don't or, speak to yeah me. losing our memories or having a giant hole blown in the floor it's nice to it's been a while breathe. since uh, cousin excellence and anything too which is odd but that might be because of the upcoming festivities i am concerned about the upcoming set of festivities <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's a festival. He just needs to curry more favor in, uh, in preparation for it, I'm sure. Yeah, I imagine that you're quite a hell of a way ahead of that. I mean, considering that you sent a gi giant ancient beast that hasn't been seen in a very long time to your mother, uh, um, aunt? Yes, my mother's yeah. older sister. Yeah. So, I, I, I gotta ask everybody a question. Yes? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do about Renata? I know that we never really finished that conversation that we had at the university when we closed the portal, and you know, yes. uh, we she all is... had that. That was a little bit of a difference of opinion there. And mm. I think we need to be agreed what we do. Oh, I don't mind what we come to the conclusion of, but as far as I'm concerned, it will be more beneficial to be in her good grace for at least until we <laughs> solve this issue with the architect. Right, Simon Carol's just disappeared DM. enough, <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough, <laughs> the DM. Uh, Nick, jump okay, out so and in again. <laughs> Everybody is now level 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I hit I hit a button with that's, my wrist. That's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see if, if Nick uh, turns his if camera off make... and then on again, hopefully it might fix us. Yeah. Yay! Oh Yay. I love Zoom! I love Zoom over over Discord. <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like Discord is dead to us. Yeah, Please join yeah. our Discord, by the yeah. way. Uh, no, uh, join our Discord, just is, not using it for uh, video. <laughs> just not using it for video yeah. anymore because the, the problems, the problems. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there are problems Zoom is nice and clean. But... Yeah. Currently, at least. Uh, currently, yeah, for now. We'll see, we'll see how we go. Um, yes, and what you said is it's long the clips. more beneficial, I think, to at least uh, working or if you want to pretend working with her and that she does have a lot of information that we do not have when it comes to certain things. The question though is do we tell anyone about it? Do we tell um, do we tell the OBS? Do we tell anyone? What what do we do? Mm, that is an issue. 
I I know. Know. can we do? She She's is... so powerful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no one is too powerful. Uh, but oh. the thing is She's that she is moment. quite possibly the most illegal thing in the entire world. Her mere existence is defiance to the gods. Yes, she yeah. is. So, on that side, she, giving her secrets to someone else would, well, it would benefit them and us by extension. But I believe the way she is wielding her power seems to be, well, it does have a purpose. Even if I don't particularly agree with it. I mean, her setting out everything in motion for saving the... Well, she did... She could probably have handled it better with actually telling us more and, like, uh, not keeping us in the dark as much. What she did in the end, she did save the city and she probably saved most of the Vardenkor Empire... Uh, not the Empire, uh, the Vardenkor... Uh, of, no, of the Vardenkor. Because we, what knows what would would Articate stop after us would, would it stop there? Or would it just keep going? The, the thing no, is, the city didn't... saved itself. She didn't save the city. All the she beef. did was all she did was keep looking until she found the first answer that met her requirements and stuck with that. Uh, <laughs> city saved itself. They banded together. They marched. They. They put their lives on the line and they walked through the city and saved themselves. Well, People yes, but he put the things in motion for that to be able to happen. That... Did she that... also start them? I mean, the... She also started the damn thing. Well, the architect would and never pull have out gotten the, out uh, if she hadn't have opened it, right? cross on it. What? You know, I pull out the um, green organization badge that has the gold cross on it. The one that's been inactivated that we got in the yeah. in the facility and and drop it in the sand around us, you know that proves. If anything, she was only covering her own backside, because all she was doing she created a mess. And used us, took oh. from us to fix it. According. If you remember, she said he he would arrive anyway. Yes, but, yeah, but we that do could not have been... trust everything she says. Exactly, and that could have been ten years ago. It could have been ten years from now. It could be a century. It could be tomorrow. I mean, he could tear a hole somewhere else in this goddamn plane and and come through. He's yeah. He's not dead. Doesn't. No. Well, plus, uh, surely the facility just command. taught him more. Like the whole, the whole mm. experiments, where they then started to learn about uh, not just us but everybody, taught him how to attack. I, uh, and that was her facility. I, I don't understand her plan in that sense. Well, we can sit here and guess until we're brewed in the face, or we can actually go and ask for more information. I think what we want to know is what is her plan now. If she spent all this time to this point, what is her plan now? Is she still yeah. changing time and we don't know about it? I mean, we wouldn't know if she was changing time all the time. All the time. Wow, it's confusing time stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess... And uh, the death I, I sentence that... was put on my head that I don't appreciate. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. yeah. Why did... Yeah. We still don't really know why he wants you because of that knife, but we don't know why you got the knife because of the freaking memories that were lost. Well, yeah. Um, the knife seems to be able to f fuck with, for lack of a better term, fate it gives me things that allows me to play with outcomes that i prefer and i picked an outcome at that point where the portal was closed and lo and behold the portal was closed in a way how is that different it's... from what she does exactly 
And why do I have it? What? I do believe that <laughs> who the decided that is I... that you wield a knife given to you by your goddess. She wields powers that were not given to her by the gods. In fact, she wields something forbidden by the gods. Well, to be fair, they were only forbidden about 700 years ago. She might both have been given it before. 875. 875, yes. <laughs> but the fact that she is using no, I don't, them, I don't, I guess. It's not the power that, or the abilities, it's the willingness to hmm. a mess with another person's choice. I don't want this, I didn't ask for this, I wasn't given it, and... And I'm being so melodramatic, then. It is. Well, it, if you it, look at it, farewell, it's probably the same for her. She probably didn't ask to be. Um, have power over time and having. and feeling like she has this responsibility like you do. Except that she. trained, she learned, she used it. I guess she's not, maybe, yeah, okay, yeah. Maybe she isn't too different, but still. I don't see her actively trying to get rid of it. I I can't get rid of it. It's tethered to me. The fact that she continues uh, her immortality is proof that she does not mind wielding it. Yeah. So the question, I guess, as Eclipse rightly said, do we confront her and find out what she's planning and what the next steps are? I mean, I'm a little worried about our prince friend who made a pact with a big giant tentacle down a well and took a load of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. From. Do not forget that she is but, under Gaius not to hurt him or to protect well. him. Well... Yes, I, I think it's high time to actually go and have a proper visit and I sit down and find out and confront her um, about everything. We have had a bunch of time to let things die down and be digested. Um, but it's... We learn uh, things from the books as well, remember? Yeah, yeah we learn things. We have a list of some previous people she was in contact with. Um, Perhaps we shouldn't mention that we have the books or what we but learned. She, she already from knows the books. She, she, she knows we have the books. Hi. See, I don't understand she, how she knows everything and yeah, why, why would she not get them back then? But... Yeah, it, it's... <sighs> but the books Too many told us things are not about answers. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think we need to talk to her. It's just whether or not yeah. What was what oh, damn it. What was the <laughs> stuff about like there are things Hey, he's thinking about Horcruxes. But like isn't there stuff <laughs> Isn't there things that we learned that she has that she can use to like re, re yeah. rebuild herself or Clones. something? No, there was clones. Yeah. yeah. So she has, in mechanical terms, she has the clone spell. So <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So it's yeah. a spell. It's not. It's not like a thing to go and destroy like Horcrux. Well, kind of. Yeah, I, mean, I thought there were. You, can spell. you have like a vessel where you have like a thing where where you have your clone is like stored until you die. <laughs> I just so so. I mean because. Would it be better to... I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like we should necessarily have the power to destroy someone. And and she's... I I can't tell at the moment. I, I, always, I thought when we first joined, I thought... I just didn't trust her. I didn't trust her. But I don't trust many people who have power. Um, <laughs> but she... Look at us. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. We... But, it's quite well, you know, like, how much do you trust us? I mean, 
Exactly. So what gives us the right to just because we have the power? But, um, in a way, she seems to have done stuff for the right reasons. Even if she didn't necessarily go about them in the right way. But it, it is, like, yeah, what is her ultimate plan? Why is she still around? What does she want? She obviously has an end goal, at least in this time. As we've figured out through the books and in the temple, obviously she simply moves forward whenever she feels like it, or when she completes one goal. Just go to another time and continue. But she well, can't and... go forward, she only goes back. So what yeah, is she expecting can't... to happen? Where does she yeah. is she just waiting for another disaster and then tries to fix it? And in a way, isn't that good? If that's the case? I I I I I find difficulty to find fault with that goal. But then she doesn't fix everything. I mean the city is pretty screwed up. There are plenty of things that are still wrong that she hasn't fixed. But I guess again I mean how much do you play a god? Yes, how much do, do you focus on the big, oh, this is going to end the, the entire country or potentially the entire world events, or do you fix the corruption of a city? <laughs> Empathizing with a time traveler, I love it. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to confirm certain things that uh, you've spoken about because it's your job to find them out. Yeah, we um, can go and speak with the one actual of the character. Things... <laughs> One of the things that you have uh, uh, you have found out is that she can look forward and travel back. Those are her limitations. Oh, she can look yeah. forward. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she can see the she can see futures, but she. And, oh yeah, uh, that's oh, right. But she can't affect yeah. them until they've happened, and then she can jump back and do something. Right. And then she can I jump remember. back, which means if she ends up dying, <laughs> she can't jump back to prevent it. Um, uh, yeah, but, but uh, she, she's yeah. a. Uh, the, the nature of it being that if you look at time, uh, the past is fixed. It's a single line, a single strand that leads bef uh, behind you. Um, whereas the future is this huge fan of possibilities in front of you. She can't travel onto that because none of it exists yet. Yeah, yeah. it literally ha it hasn't been woven together. And they talk about it very much in terms of weaving. You know, the future hasn't been woven into uh, the present and the past yet. Um, but what she can do is go back down the line to the past, make changes. But of course, when she goes to the past, um, she uh, she everything that she does suddenly just splays the future open again. Um, and so, yeah, you, you get a lot of um, butterfly effect, for example, as in I film. I think <laughs> we do need to talk to her. S yes. Find out what she knows. Find out what she thinks is coming. Um, what what her plan is uh if we can um the worst yeah what's the worst that can happen she kills us or she takes our memories again i and i don't want and, that to happen but she can do that whenever she wants to so really and i think if we just go away she'll and if, i think also if we tell on her she'll do something bad well <laughs> Yeah. She'll do I mean, something. To, something. <laughs> to be honest, who would we tell? Who do you trust that is better than her? Really? None of the people we've really met so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bastards, all of them. Pretty much. I mean, you know, I trust people like Dust, but what the hell could Dust do? Really? And I Not fear for her more say. than... Huh? It's not her concern. It, would, it wouldn't concern her. It wouldn't concern most of the temples there. Don't get me wrong, they're not unsympathetic to the people suffering, but it's not their duty. It's Even not their though affair. she's defying the gods? We're a strange lot. The... The... <laughs> the raven... She wasn't telling me. God, more of a mortal, become very, very powerful. And her realm is like that. 
it is this it is the moment it is the transcendence between life and death it is that movement it is yeah. that continuation of the cycle and as long as the wheel spins how it spins is inconsequential who turn whose hand is pushing does not push. yeah. it's decades and centuries of dogma but it makes sense at least to me i mean some of the other others might not that is the bahamas they they're a crazy lot but they're more likely to chop and i point at glory <laughs> they're more likely to chop her up than they are to help us yeah because uh, they are good guys doesn't mean that they're nice Oh, yeah, definitely. They're kind. Yeah, your exp your experience of Baha Nations, um, uh, Glory, is um, stuffy, repressed, um, way too handy with an axe. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, ju just generally, you know, they 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 don't they don't go through any logic. That's the thing that you find scary about Baha Nations is that they uh, they don't really um have reasons to do what they do they just do them because they were told to do them and that to you is more scary than any amount of dragons yeah i guess well i think it's time for us to head back anyway yeah it's yeah. getting late where are we going back to your parents well i we can either go back to our parent my parents and sleep in this tiny room there, or we can go to the university, uh, to the teleportation circle, and go back to our rooms in Ostergold. <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> I tell you what, instantaneous can I have, travel. Uh, about half an hour and an hour, uh, and then we can go. I'd love to eat sure. here. I never yeah. I, I have seen models before. Say that again, because we this is my leave. first time I've Oh, uh, what's the city called? Oh, Naruka. Um, Naruka. No, no. Uh, it, the where Ostergold is is Vardencourt, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Ostergold is yeah. in Vardencourt. Yeah. yeah. Old, never, uh, South Vardencourt, known as the Old Empire. Yeah, I've I've never been outside of South Vardencourt before. I'm very well traveled, but that's only around there. I've never actually left the continent well, or Farrell, swam. That is a lie. All right, yeah, but that wasn't <laughs> through choice. Yeah, that's true. Okay. It's just a choice. Uh, and yeah, uh, not to be too, I, I, I'm trying to create more happiness. Oh, happy my God. oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Um, she, you know, awful lows in my head. So uh, I cast on my uh, holy symbol. There's, there's being like raven, um, and I, I start walking towards. I'm the filling beach, in all the gaps. He cast the light on his holy symbol. Okay, great, great. Yeah, okay. That's your oh, wow. <laughs> Really that bad. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're a yeah. bit robotic uh, at the moment. We're getting every third or fourth syllable at the moment. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's oh I'm just... we're just seeing your wedding picture. <laughs> do you do you want me to hide that from stream, or are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yes, if you want. <laughs> it's uh, gonna be up there anyway. So. Uh, uh, I mean, we could we can have a picture of farewell. Yeah, I I so. can I yeah. can. It, just give me a second. Sure. Uh, so yeah, sorry. Well, if you don't want it to see, put your put your video back up until I uh, I have a picture of farewell. <laughs> So you head on into the city itself, and uh, the it's surprising how much of the the aroma of the city um, you uh, you didn't realize how much of the uh, the aroma of the city had left you when you went to the coast because it's a fair walk, it's an hour or so's walk, and um, as you return to the city, you can smell the city on the wind before you see it. Now, ordinarily, that's not a good concept. Certain cities smell of 
Well, the type of smells that, you ha that happen when you have a large amount of people crammed into a very small space. The smells of Naruka, though, uh, seem to be of uh, incense and jasmine and, uh, and food as well, spice, just this beautiful aroma of spice. You start to salivate just as you're getting close to it. And once you get to the city, you can see that, uh, sure enough, everybody's out um, eating out in the open. They um, they have pulled chairs and tables and things like that out of the uh, various homes and are eating with neighbors and family and friends and things. Very much a kind of, uh, you know, a, a communal culture. You pass further into the city and suddenly as you're getting close to the city center, you can hear this oomph, 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 oomph. Um, of, um, oh, no. <laughs> of lots of drums in unison. And um, you can hear this kind of, music. yeah, yeah. You, could, you can hear that there's other mu uh, musical instruments as well. And just as you break into the city center, you can hear this, ah, yeah, now, do, do, do. and you can see that pretty much, you don't know how they got so many instruments this big, um, you know, just lying about in the city. And what seems to be three large, I mean, huge drums, um, they can't, kind of like kettle drums, uh, but they are all on an angle because they're so huge if they were set so that the skins were flat and you know uh, parallel with the floor, you'd have to be about eight foot to be able to hit them. So instead they're angled to the floor and they are huge, beautifully ornate with um, uh, with gold leaf and bright colors. And there's carvings off the, on the side of dragons and lions. And one of them has a kind of roaring griffin or an ax beak you're not close enough to see. And, uh, there's three huge ones and four smaller ones, but still pretty huge. Just talking about six foot tall. Whereas the other ones, because they're angled, as I say, they'd be about eight foot like that. They're angled like this. So they're easily 10 foot tall. Um, and you can see that uh, uh, Beepa is jumping back and forth like a crazy person going uh, kind of, he's, he, he's conducting, don't get me wrong, he is conducting, but he's conducting a uh, percussion band, which largely involves him waving his hand to the beat um, up in the air. So he's kind of doing this, yeah? Um, and as he's doing that, they're going, more of this, more of this! And he jumps over to a section uh, where this kind of, uh, kind of like oboe instruments. Uh, so, Shrill, reedy, um... <laughs> Sorry, Thank Simon, you for the cheer. you would uh, beatbox a song for bits. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, unfortunately, I can't. I have no. Uh, I have no beatboxing skills. We promised chat. We we promised chat. You've got to do it. <laughs> Can you hear the beat from me? Are you hearing it? I have yeah. nothing prepared. Uh, oh, you got the improv, he's, man! Improv. He's improv. jumping. <laughs> We've had all the improv we could take with the castle. Thank you very much. Uh, and the beat was jumping backwards and forwards like a crazy person. Um, and uh, he's coordinating these huge instruments to just. <laughs> And then this over the top of these uh, of this uh, double reeded uh, instrument. There's kind of like an oboe. It's uh, uh, that's native to Nuruka, and uh, playing these uh, uh, these kind of shrill but loud notes that seem to cut through the air. And uh, in the same way that bagpipes shouldn't sound good, um, there are uh, there's a certain harmony that's starting to coalesce from it all where it starts to sound really good. And you can see that uh, the tabaxi are now dashing into the city center, uh, into this huge forecourt. Uh, there's still plenty who are eating on the sides, although some of them are dancing at their tables. 
um, to this crazy beat, um, both these huge beast, uh, uh, beastly bass tones, uh, these smaller kind of uh, trill beats that are happening underneath. So for every there's and uh, then on top of that there's uh, this form of melody nobody seems to be wanting to sing or anything and the one person who could be heard above it all as uh, you can see that Beeper is using the thaumaturgy you've seen him before um, suddenly uh, goes Wah! Uh, over to this uh, section and he gets more of this one thing or less of this other thing and uh, he starts to coordinate and it's like he's trying to conduct a city and you can tell there's about 300 people um, in the center <laughs> all kind of jumping up and down and dancing and cartwheeling and showing off and nobody can show off in terms of acrobatics than a race of cat people they are just uh, they are leaping up and uh, uh, over each other they are running up against walls skittering like 60 foot up, leaping backwards, doing a huge, beautiful, lithe backflip, and then hitting the, uh, thank you very much for the bit, Snipe, um, and then hitting the floor. And as they hit the floor, they kind of do a break roll, back up into a flourish, and then start dancing some more. And um, as Beeper's kind of uh, making the sound go higher and higher and higher in terms of volume. And you can see- I think the Beeper's people found down his the people. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. We found, we found it from the march. Well done. Uh, the, uh, um, the, pe uh, the people start uh, coming out of the side streets going, what is this? This is very loud. Is, is okay? Is everything okay? And then when they see what it is, you can see that they're like, oh, I like it. It's good. Like, come, come on. Come on. Let's, let's, go, let's go try this out. Let's go try this out. Um, and, uh, looking around for, uh, for Jared and the, uh, and the, uh, the, the others. You know? Who are they? Where I think Jacob I, I, and I think Derek. you know what to expect when we left Beepa unattended in a new city, but <laughs> I'm being kind of this surprised. It, it wasn't this. this, was it? Yeah. It was kind of uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, these gigantic drums are being hit and you can see uh, you're like what the hell what the hell is he what the hell is he you know, who the hell is going to be able to hit a drum that big? At which point you can see that um, uh, what, uh, behind one of the drums, a huge head um, comes out and uh, gestures to say, yeah, I get what you're on about, or yeah, I hear you. But they're not gesturing with their hands. They're gesturing with a trunk. Ooh, lots of them. I would like to point out, none of you have ever met a Loxodon before, yep. apart from Eclipse <laughs> of the Moon, because they only... <laughs> they only exist in Austria. Oh, the 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 very few of them that exist in Lyria are here in Austria. Uh, and you can see these these gigantic, gigantic people. I mean, as say they are about eight foot tall, um, huge, huge, broad shoulders, beautiful big ears like a mane. Um, and uh, you can see one of them is kind of you know jacked even compared to other Loxodons. And, they are elephant uh, people, by the way. Uh, uh, yes, uh, and, yeah, the ele elephantine people, uh, okay. and uh, um, and yeah, you can see one of them is jacked, even compared to the other loxodons, and um, the uh, is holding three beaters, one in each hand and one by the trunk, and uh, you can see is going bam, bam, smack, bam, bam, smack with uh, with all three <laughs> limbs. Um, and um, you can see that uh, somehow they've kind of t uh, tied their ears back because the sheer amount of volume with ears like that is gonna hurt. So they've kind of they've kind of got, uh, tied some rag or something to uh, tie their ears back. Um, and yeah, Beeper is currently getting giant elephants to hit gigantic um, ornamental timpani um, to make a beat that can you you can hear throughout the city absolutely throughout the city. Um, and he's drawing all of the city to the city center. Um, and you're, they're just... And oh, yeah, uh, you can't see uh, Garrett or Jacob at the moment. Yeah, uh, I, I turn to farewell and like, I don't think your tricks can uh, top that. 
<laughs> I know that's true. <laughs> Go, I, uh, <laughs> Don't think I would want to, though. I, I think he even as well couldn't punish this. Yeah. By the way, Nick, did you want to turn off your camera so you get better audio? Because I can turn on a picture if you I do. don't know. Um, are we... I can turn, uh, turn on a picture. It, uh, it's hard to know, because sometimes it seems fine and then it goes... British um, Telecom! Who says they shouldn't have a monopoly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Virgin. I don't know. But... Uh... Are so, we uh, you can see Beat, uh, Beat for himself is wearing a uh, clothes you haven't seen him in before. And, um, and Eclipse will be able to identify some of the pieces he's wearing now is Tabaxi. Um, so, he's wearing a, oh, wow. <laughs> a lemon He's wearing a lemon shirt with black work on it. Yeah. Uh, so, old fashioned kind of black work um, cross stitching, um, which has got various bits and pieces uh, uh, on it. I have a feeling that might have been his from beforehand. He's wearing garish salmon pink trousers, um, but he is wearing uh, black kind of uh, velvet slippers with silver stitching. That's definitely Tabaxi um, uh, Eclipse. Uh, it's a Tabaxi craft. They don't, uh, most Tabaxi don't wear it themselves, but uh, uh, they do produce these for uh, humans and elves and things like that in the city. Um, and uh, he's wearing a silk sash tied at one side with a fl uh, kind of a waterfall of uh, of material coming off the one side. And you know that as Tabaxi as well. In fact, pretty much all of you have seen Tabaxi wearing these in the city. Um, kind of a sash around the midriff. And uh, yeah, uh, he is leaping about the place and the entire city is a riot. Um, yeah. Uh, Corey, you mentioned food, sorry. Let me cut you off. Uh, I, uh, I look. I look at the others. You want to join the party, or you want to go get food, or both? Let's get something to drink and join the party. We just had something to eat. Did we? Yeah, yeah we were eating we around the fire pit. Uh, were we it. actually eating? I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't completely sure whether we were or whether we'd lit a fire pit and then we decided to go and get food somewhere else. So I got very confused. Okay, we've eaten. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Um, well, we could. Um, uh, you're a half part of genetic makeup to be almost I, constantly hungry. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I mean, Cora, even if she's just eaten, she's looking around for like street food and stuff because this is. It's also a party now, so she definitely wants yeah. street food. And yeah. and she this uh, is exotic, and she wants to try every single thing she can before she leaves. Uh, yep. Yeah. In that case, uh, you can see that there's uh, strips of what seem to be. I don't know, it's some sort of bird, certainly larger than a, ch a chicken, maybe like a, a really large turkey or something. Um, and there's strips of this meat that they're kind of tearing off the, um, uh, off, the uh, off the carcass. And they are kind of deep frying them with uh, lots of um, uh, spices and then serving them with what seems to be some sort of minted yogurt. Um, and uh, yeah, um, definitely... Halfling food. Halfling snack time. Anyone else? Just me then! Okay, and I run over and I go, go <laughs> sure. order. So, uh, are you guys... Drink, oh, okay. Uh, you'll uh, get drinks and watch the festivities. Uh, if you want, you can stay here for the rest of the night or you can try to catch up with uh, Gareth and Jacob or you can, um, if you want, try to join the show. If you would, uh, if you fancy your chances at uh, either acrobatics or uh, performance, hell yeah! <laughs> I um, uh, if Eclipse is going to do that, then I will cast enhance ability on her <laughs> because I have that packed. Uh, Some performance um, would be fun. I I'm probably going to do acrobatics, so. Um... Uh, would feline's grace would yeah. that stack for you? Yeah. Would it put thought in that case you get feline's grace? Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, 
trying to out tabaxi the tabaxi there's some pretty good runners here uh you're pretty sure some of them are monks but let's see how uh how well you fit in uh no, eclipse. he's a uh, tabaxi yes yeah uh good that that was an advantage because one of them was a one but it's a 17 on the dice, plus 9 is a 26. <laughs> 26, yeah. Uh, you are you are doing uh, various kind of wall running and leaps and, um, you know, running up to tables, kind of just putting just the smallest part of your foot on the corner of the table and then leaping easily 12 foot in the air, um, then uh, landing, rolling, and uh, and dancing with the others. So, uh, yeah, you are you are meeting the grade for uh, you know Tabaxi one upmanship. Um, Glory, did you want to yeah. do some performance? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll also spend a spell slot and cast enhance ability on Glory. Um, okay. Whatever the. Charisma one. So, one. what's your performance, uh, Glory? Is it just going to be dancing? Uh, actually, Glory plays the Eagle lure, Splendor. Ah. So, uh... Liar. Yeah. Yep. So okay. she'll do a little bit of both. Dancing while playing. Okay. That's fine. Uh, in that case, uh, roll with uh, the advantage that Nick gave you, but the second that you pull out the liar, uh, you can see that a silvery sheen appears over the uh, over the strings. Uh, you also get a D8 uh, for the roll. So add a D8, inspiration probably. wise. You, you probably got inspiration from Beepa. <laughs> probably. Uh, okay, so that just adds on top of my thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is uh, plus... Uh, that uh, will be a 25. 25. As you start to play, um, you realize that the beat is uh, it, this typical crazed beat from Beepa. And uh, you're there try uh, wondering if, you're if your fingers are going to be able to keep up. The second that your finger touches the strings, you start playing like a woman possessed. And uh, you, it's almost a little disconcerting that uh, you seem to know exactly what to play at exactly right, the right time, and you don't feel at all um, intimidated by the level of speed. And there, you are you are pulling tr little trills and riffs off this off this lyre um, yeah. that you never thought that you could do before, and uh, you're keeping pace with the. As I say, yeah. the incredibly fast and kind of suggestively fast. And the entire crowd at this point is like one giant animal just writhing with the beat. Anything else you guys would like to do before we go to the morning after? Not really. I'd <laughs> probably do similar to when we were in Estegard and I, uh, I want to grab the carpet out of the bag. So that I, one, I can get a good view, and I'll probably take kids on rides up to see from a, from a high. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, give me a. <laughs> oh, farewell. He stood there and he's just like, fine. Rolls the damn thing. Hey, give me a uh, charisma. Yeah, a charisma check with proficiency, please. Hold on, yours get enhance ability because fuck it. Well, let's just spend my last <laughs> second level spell slot. You're having so, yeah, fun. Here as well. I, You're I, having fun. What does, what does that even, slot. what does this I'm, even mean, Farewell? What are you talking about? I rolled a 10 and what am I doing? Sorry, I'm charisma. Uh, roll again. With advantage. advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah, Farewell's giving out advantage. Ooh. Okay. So, did you say a charisma check? Sorry, Simon. Charisma check, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that is a 16 plus 6. Yes, math. 22. 22. Thank you very much. Okay. Any uh, proficiency yeah. on top of that, Simon, or is it just a straight charisma check? Oh, it's proficiency, yeah. Oh, no, that's this 26 so then. Oh, 26, yeah. It, it's a socialized check, yeah. Socialize mm -hmm. is just. Uh, charisma proficiency they don't even oh. name it as a skill uh so yeah uh 
Sure. All three of you uh, get the favor of Naruka. And uh, with your previous shenanigans at the beach, um, the fact that you brought a um, a long, uh, well, an ancient corpse of the temple guard back to them, uh, you find that there's a number of people who kind of gravitate towards you and uh, eventually want to speak with you uh, towards the end as as even the poor kitties are getting tired um, there is uh, there is a uh, an old tabaxi female that walks up to you and says uh, excuse me I was wondering if you would like to uh, take a nightcap with us um, we're just over there. And she points to one of the buildings uh, that actually borders on the main town square, which you know is the quite well-to-do buildings. And uh, this one is very close to the uh, the city hall as well. And uh, she says, Sir, if you don't mind, of course. Uh, what is the nightcap, Simon? <laughs> Oh, a nightcap is a uh, basically the last drink of the night. Uh, it's uh, normally something that's fairly uh, smart. Fairly smart. That's it. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, you you normally have it. Uh, you normally take time with it because it's normally something that is normally quite expensive and quite lavish. And uh, normally, it's the drink that you sip upon uh, as you're starting to get quite tired and you you have uh, a final discussion before. I will say yes. <laughs> I will say sure if the others also want to go yeah, and. Why not? Okay. Uh, just brought up the wrong damn map. I brought up Haltavan instead of. instead of Naruka. Just checking something for my other sanity. So when you get to the uh, the building, it has like a walkway up the side of the building that goes to the roof. And you notice that a lot of these have rooftop gardens that are like this. Uh, so flat, uh, flat roofs, some of them have domes. And uh, this one quite clearly has uh, a lovely roof terrace. And uh, you uh, a, a gestured up. And even though this, um, this tabaxi is uh, as a quite old she's in a she's in her late 50s uh she uh she seems quite spry going up the stairs and you can see that sat there on um various kind of cushions and seats and things like that in what is stylishly haphazard is uh, a bunch of a mixture between elderly tabaxi um quite well to do but younger tabaxi and uh, you can see that uh, they're dotted with uh, two elves and a tiefling. Hmm. And uh, Eclipse, give me a history check. Ooh. Yeah, it's the history of your town. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to use a lock point on that. Much better. Because we don't use it during combat, we use it for superfluous fluff rolls. Yeah, because I'm going to have a rest in like five minutes, so... Or are you, okay. though? <laughs> Surprise fight! Yeah. I uh, fucking uh, hope so. I've got no third level. I know. Uh, well, so that is a dirty 20 touch, Simon. Or fourth. Or fifth. <laughs> dirty 20 Simon. Uh, so that's a fifth. Dirty 20. Okay. Um, Immediately, as you walk onto this rooftop terrace, you recognize, uh, Eclipse, that this is the Ahsoka. Council of Elders. So, um, in each of the cities in Austran, there is the Ahsoka Council. Um, in Naruka, most of them are tabaxi, um, but there are representatives of other people within the city. The Ahsoka Hall um, is the one that you teleported into at the beginning with uh, all the people kind of just talking about their business just in the hall, no closed doors, no backhand payments. Um, and um, the Ahsoka are 
everybody who works there. And you did notice that there were dwarves and there were elves and there were humans and there were uh, people of all different races. Uh, they're mostly representatives of, uh, of the various cultures within the city. Uh, this is the, uh, these guys are Ahsoka, but specifically they have two functions. They are the Ahsoka of the city, but they are also the Tabaxi elders for the Naru. And oh. you've been invited up. Um, you okay. can see that passed out on a couch um, behind them is Beeper. He's completely yeah. spark out. <laughs> No. I do check to make sure he's like breathing and won't swallow his tongue <laughs> and if necessary move him into the recovery position on his side just because you know he's like bloody hedonists <laughs> <laughs> the old tabaxi says yes he's got a strange metabolism that one I had to check him several times myself but he seems to be fine yeah, strange wouldn't be the word I'd use, but yeah, they seem to like him. And I, I basically just pop something underneath his knees to keep his knees <laughs> elevated and just <laughs> first aid. Yeah, why not? Yeah, just just make sure he's breathing. The airways are clear. Not going to swallow his tongue. Elevate his knees. It'll be all right. Bucket conveniently placed near, just in case of need. If you've ever taken care of anybody that's been way too drunk to look after themselves, you know exactly what I'm talking about. My name is Mother of Dreams, although you can probably do what some of the uh, the younger tabaxi and your friend over there has been doing and call me Mo, if you wish. Yeah. An honor to meet you. Uh, an so. honor indeed, Elder. <laughs> uh, I'm... Oh, uh, well... And it's my friends, Cora, Glory, and, you know, Eclipse. These are the elders. And uh, she she point, uh, points them around. And uh, they mostly do, don't introduce themselves. Um, they're very kind of relaxed in that kind of thing of, oh, yeah, we'll get to talk eventually. And, um, and uh, the, some of them are, are playing like little uh, kind of like a... A chess game and uh, some others are reading and things. So every, everybody is just kind of winding down for the night. And uh, Mo gestures for you to sit on a, a bunch of comfortable cushions. I'll go and sit down. So yeah. you come here unannounced and you bring us this fantastic gift uh, adding to the culture of our civilization. And then you set upon us this celebrity, uh, giving us all a wonderful time, and uh, put on shows for children as well, uh, and rides on a carpet. I, 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 you are the friends we did not know we had. We were mostly just visiting my hometown to. Well, it was mainly to give the specimen that we found, um, but also to visit my family and stuff. But of course, as well of as course. have some fun. <laughs> Just because we uh, we are compelled to travel, young Eclipse, does not mean that we uh, that we don't miss home from time to time. I was in a privileged position myself on my wanderings that I was able to come back whenever I chose. Although, I confess, I was a little obsessed with my with my pursuits at the time. <laughs> yes. Can, uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> and my grandfather always said, always try, to try and leave a place you visit better than the way you found it. That is something that the Naru know so much about. When we travel out into the world, it is to uh, to forge bonds, to uh, offset the tides of chaos and negativity. All things, after all, uh, go towards chaos, towards loss. Everything breaks down. 
And yet we mortals have one gift that we can bring to the earth. Not that, uh, not that we have many gifts that we give, and more often than not, we do not give them at all. But our ability to create, to stem the tide of degradation and build. And it can be anything from a smile, a memory, Memories so easy to build, and yet so many people refuse to pick up the clay. Hmm. Yeah. I made it my business, if you pardon me, to find out what uh, young Eclipse was traveling for. She seeks uh, information about our shame. About your yes. Adam. Yes. I am not going to persuade you off this path. I know my people too well, and you are very much one of the people. Uh, all I can say is, is that if you need our help, if the inevitable should happen, then call upon us. You have shown yourself to be generous and true in your, in your goals. You come here and act as if you have lived here for many years, you carry a light of positivity and happiness amongst you all. I'm sure this is not something that you find in many places, including your Ostagard. No, it's very different. I have to say that being here does make one a little bit homesick, but... Um, we I like have... to have that effect if I can have a moment of... Self-important pride. <laughs> but at the moment, I am up to my ears in research and exploration. <laughs> As it should be, young one. As it should be. These are the Maradnites, the dwarves. They would say that this is where you forge your soul that you need to go through this in order to be complete, to be whole. It works. It's how the Naru would think. You need to go out into the world to find your place within it. I, I, Just I agree. Know that you're welcome here. If anything, <laughs> you have given us a great boon and we, though we are not the type to count debts, we are certainly the ones to remember friends. That's nice. Like Thank you that. very much. Out of curiosity, do you guys actually know where Juridan's palace was? It is uh, one of the greatest mysteries. We're not entirely sure how we can lose it. it, it the palace itself and the outlying buildings. The palace was inside of a mountain, and yet it is said a good third of the palace, from historical accounts, came out of the mountain, shaped by the stone excavated whilst trying to bore within it. Jordan was trying to find some uh, chamber deep within the mountain. We thought that we were going to end up accidentally starting a war with the dwarves that he was going to burrow into uh, into one of their home cities. But uh, he didn't. He seemed to know exactly where he was going. And with all the stone that was taken out of the mountain, he built. So it's said that two thirds of the palace were inside the mountain, one third outside the mountain. And then he built a city around it. And yet we can't find anything. No stoneworks, no earthworks, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you have no rough idea and where anywhere on this continent or, or, or in the world that this may be just... Oh, we, so we know strange. it's in Bardencore. We know it's one of the mountains. Uh, we started doing uh, a, 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 these, uh, these surveillances of all the different mountains, but it's a mountainous region. And unfortunately, uh, the local lords and dukes have never been all that uh, happy with us doing so. Um, 
I I assume the thing I'm doing now with the canopic jars and everything will lead me eventually to the palace. Yes, now that that's an interesting one. They say that the only way to get there is via the path. We always ignored that, uh, saying that if we knew it was a mountain, just go check all the mountains. But maybe some sort of magic, some sort of enchantment, means that you can't actually go there unless you follow the breadcrumbs, yeah. two of which you possess upon you. Do you happen to have what you said that they, they said the way to find there was the path? Now, any good story, any good legend is usually written down. You know, they usually have texts or things like that or stories that they, you know, they, they, they sort of handed down. Do you have anything like that? <laughs> we have entire sections of the library of people who have attempted what Young Eclipse has attempted. My recommendation is not to pour so much on those books. Many scholars have, and still are, oh, no. and none of them have found. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not, perhaps not explaining myself. I don't mean what they've done. I mean the actual story, the very first legend, the very first um, recounting of this, how you knew to do this, where it all began, the very first one. Something around that time. Of You've course. got anything? It, you you don't even need to go to the to the temple for that. You could go anywhere. That you could go to a local bookshop and find what is known of the great progression of Jorida. Hmm. Um, at this point, it is twenty to ten. So I'm going to just we really take a short break. And uh, yep. we will be back in, say, 10 minutes. Yeah? Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Okay. See you then.
Okay. Welcome Hello. back, everybody. Nice. So Sorry, when we, we left, left off, you waiting. The yeah, uh, yeah we we're talking. We stuff. get nattering. Uh, Is there so... any time to talk? Wants to die <laughs> yeah. yes. Damn it! You can't socialize. It's all gaming here. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, you guys have uh, a wonderful night uh, speaking with the elders and uh, knowing that you can sort out a few things in the morning, uh, you all hit the sack. So, you wake up the next morning, refreshed, Slightly you know, party. Question, are we sleeping in one again? guy and uh, a cuddle pile of uh, limbs? I, huh? I, yeah, I think because we're all like, I, we went to my parents' house and there's like not many places to sleep. So we're all like piled into Eclipse's old room and everybody's just like, in a pile. Mac. I don't know about you, but I brought my hammock with me. <laughs> <laughs> Always prepared. So all, all the girls in a pile and then farewell in the hammock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, technically, farewell being the considerate soul that he is, would have brought all of yours as well, because I would have been the one to remember to, oh yeah, because I did pack them from when to, we were on the boat. To be honest, the, the, that that um, carpet is so damn big, it's just a giant bed floating like a foot off the air. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, by all means. It's I mean, probably the I would softest have been, thing. Been the we we could make it a lot. Like, have up. fewer people sleep underneath the carpet, some on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> d d it depends if it stops face. flying once you fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just waking up every now and again. Pride! <laughs> <laughs> every, every two hours on the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you get that falling sensation, the, it's, uh, it's the uh, deflation the of, the, in... of the airbed, and then whoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's like the the kick in Inception, isn't it? You know, all of a sudden you you, you know part of the uh, part of the uh, the carpet starts going. You start to tilt backwards. You get that kick, and you right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay, yep. Uh, so you all have good night's rest. Spells are restored, Nick. Um, and, um, you um, know that you have to press on. You have an innate feeling, almost as if the gods themselves are saying that there's more <laughs> plot line that you can get to if you stop faffing around. Uh, we do not faff. Uh, we role play. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to point out we did not have a three and a half episode fucking shopping trip, so consider yourself lucky. This is yes. true. This is true. Yeah. Um, we so, only had one episode shopping trip. What would you like to do? Well, we're going to go back, uh, but right. I to think Nick needs to go by the temple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you go to the temple, and you can see that as you go in there, uh, you are recognized instantaneously, and they say, uh, oh, please, come with me. They're, they're, they're just this way. And you go into okay. what seems to be a, a research room that uh, you um, that both uh, Jacob and Garrett are there. They look like they have not slept at all. Oh, they haven't <laughs> slept. That's not even a question. <laughs> On the table in like front of them mine. are minor artifacts. So instead, uh, you know, they, they've had minor artifacts brought up from the storerooms, and they're searching through things. And one of them is like a stone tablet that seems to be from around that time. One of them is. Uh, uh, an old preserved scroll that seems to be a ship scroll. And um, uh, Garrett looks up, looks at you for a, a second too long as if remembering, yes, I know you. And then, <laughs> and then says, come, come, come. I, 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 it's been, it's been, oh, it's been fantastic. We're going to stay here a few more days if that's okay. And yeah, uh, uh, we think we're onto something. <laughs> we weren't going to make you come back if anything we were just coming here to basically say that we were leaving oh okay okay well yes uh, uh, and uh, uh, we heard from Beeper well we heard from a messenger that said do we know this man and uh, we um, we obviously said no <laughs> we know that he's alive um, and he got not, some not yet sleep. arrested yeah so did you not hear the, uh, the 
party last night? No, it's it's beautifully quiet down here. It's some sort of strange, <laughs> strange sort of acoustics of the of the spiral that goes down into the ground. It's it, it, you get occasionally you get this kind of uh, rushing sound, like rushing water, but that's about it. It's oh, that's. Oh, it sounds heavy. Perfect. It, it is. It, it, it's a place to contemplate. It really I, is. Are you guys okay to get home, or do you need a boat? Oh no, no, no. We 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 can get a return teleport. That's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that that's fine. Yeah, and and that that was all paid up by Miss Tesca Kotal here. Um, yeah, we've already checked with them. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, okay. So what we've got so far is uh, this path. Uh, the the general's in the shame, from what we can tell. Uh, this is a theory, by the way. That's not an absolute fact. Uh, the general's in the shame uh, decided that they were going to obfuscate the final resting place. Sometimes referred to as a prison. Nah, that's a little scary. Uh, of uh, Joradan and the evil that corrupted him. Right. Um, so they set off. Some of them um, lived the re- lived out the rest of their days. Some of them committed a ritual suicide to be able to make this this happen. And from what we can tell, uh, this is kind of exciting. The lost city is not destroyed. Yes. Well, I, I assumed, but, oh, ooh. No, this is huge. What? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes, okay. The, uh, I don't do know. you realize your people have been searching for such a long time? They've hired <laughs> druids and other people who can fly to fly over this mountain range who would be able to see a city like that, mm. and they, they haven't seen a thing. It was supposed that either uh, dwarves or elementals or somebody who was able to take apart the city did so. And that we've been looking for uh, something that is visible, but not present by virtue of the fact that everything was taken down. Now we, we're crossing quite possibly a, 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 the possibility of the fact that these cities, these cities, the city could be intact completely obfuscated and you wouldn't even know that you're, you're you're missing it you would just take the wrong path you would just suddenly change your course it would be something that just feels natural you would feel like you've gone through it all but really you would have gone round part of some part of the city yes we did so. encounter the, that kind of magic before um but that was more of a hallucinatory terrain rather than just directing you, but same kind of magic, I think. I would say there's elements of that, certainly. Mm. Uh, but there, I, I am, I am certain that once you find the city eclipse, it's going to present itself to you in all its splendor, a, a certain amount of ramshackleness, I'm sure. But it is intact. I, I can feel it. Don't these spells usually need something to maintain it? Yes. Yes, they do, don't they? Now, the elements that you've found so far, the two canopic jars, they had a soul trapped inside. An active soul. Yes. Think of the powering of the spells that you've seen so far as those souls in some kind of a hamster wheel. Yeah. Rather than oh. just taking the inactive soul, as with the soul cage spell. Uh, oh, sorry. It's a, uh, I think it's an eighth circle spell. Uh, necromancy, terrible thing. Stuff. Yeah, we know about that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the soul cage um, takes the dormant soul and just draws energy from it. And you can use that for certain uses. Not very powerful, not very efficient. Um, and a terrible thing, besides. I mean, who, who in their right mind would do? Uh, but anyway, the, the, the souls of these generals, when they died, they had committed themselves to this afterlife gas. And the gas uh, was 
that they would power these protections. Now, as you're finding each one and you're taking as you're whittling down these protections, which should at least start to draw you to the city itself, but even the generals themselves aren't enough to be able to power the obfuscation of an entire city. You know, I mean, that, that's huge. So my supposition is that the darkness, the whatever that is being kept um, away is somehow harnessed, is somehow fueling this city. Oh, so they're harnessing what they're trying to contain. The only way yeah. to break it would be to... Ooh, now that is magic. And well, that's not necessarily said anything free. We've been down that road before, if you remember. Free? Indeed. No, but if you could finally bring rest. That's and, what we're doing with the generals themselves. I assume that there is, once we brought all the other generals to rest, there will be some kind of opening or somewhere to actually go and find the city itself so you can go and put the final thing to rest? That's the general sense of the path so far. We've so that's the that's the theory. Now, obviously, you're going to have to be well prepared before you take the final stage of the path. I should imagine that there will be quite a number of dangers. Yeah. But hmm. well, if when you is manage for anything that we ever do, <laughs> the life of an adventurer. That's the reason why I'm a scholar, sir. Uh, but if you manage to get it right, you should be able to free this piece of living archaeology for everyone to, to enjoy. The things that we would learn, the, the whole place would be just one grand monument to the past, to your man, past. It's, man, it's going to suck when we end up blowing a giant hole in it, isn't it? I shoot him a look. <laughs> What? We're not blowing any holes in the city. <laughs> I, 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 I like to point out that the last hidden thing that to... we found is now a giant, like, 500-foot crater in the in the floor. Well, that was uh, infested with demons. That, we ended up killing it. Uh, uh, you know, I I'm still... just saying... I, I, I give him a jab in the really? side, um, <laughs> trying to be agreeing with him, but without distressing the poor... <laughs> The poor guy in front of you, us. You, and you the can see kids. the lip is going. He said, "Well, well, well uh, if you could find a less destructive means to, to, to I to... will make sure we do not destroy the city. Farewell." And um... I'm not saying we're going to be the ones destroying it. I'm shh, just saying. That shh, you... No when to shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, I I'm sure you'll do your best. Uh, at the very least, if, if you find any interesting artifacts. Well, um... Well, I so, assumed you'd come with us. Uh, well, well, that well, might be a bit dangerous. <laughs> uh, well, to the city, certainly. Uh, you know, I, yeah. I, not, I mean, not much of a, a fighter, but uh, fight a I, dragon I would say... Yes, I, I, I would say we'd probably need an expeditionary party much larger than your small band once we go to the whole city. Uh, yeah. But... Uh, uh, yes, uh, if only for catalog uh, cataloging alone is, is going to be such a mammoth task. But uh, yes, uh, we will. Uh, I, oh, I should imagine that sure the Tabaxi will themselves will want to, to send a delegation. <laughs> Indeed. So, 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 say, that, say that again, Glory, because we kind of missed you. You're a little bit quiet today. Oh, sorry. No, I said, oh, I'm sure you won't be complaining about a task once we're there. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, no. We will. Uh, we'll quite enjoy it, and and the Tabaxi will bring a delegation, of course. So, yes. Anyway, um, oh, uh, the, the priestess was looking for for you, Mister Barebones. Uh, apparently, she says that uh, you and her need to speak in private. Oh, okay. Um, sure. Any idea okay. where she is? And he directs you there. there. So over once, there. Yeah. <laughs> follow, follow the signs. Yeah. Administration. Down um, the hall, fourth, cor fourth door on the right. Yeah. 
Uh, well, no, his, uh, G Garrett's uh, descriptions are more kind of like, and then there's this lovely urn, Fifth Dynasty, I believe. And, uh, <laughs> and, and he's directing you by, you know, by uh, interesting artifacts. And uh, so you follow the path and uh, you go there and uh, Priestess opens the door and goes, ah, please come in, come in. And sees you in. So your, your note. Are we free to talk about this here, or do you just want the information? And she puts her hand down on the scroll. We can talk. I don't think anybody's really listening and paying attention right now. At least I hope not. We're not with you, right? You've just gone in alone. Yeah. Well, Garrett specified alone. Yeah. Yes, so we've stayed with Garrett. Okay. Yeah. So, players will know this, characters will know. The box that you refer to was a, a gift. Um, a gift to a powerful ruler that wanted to, uh, well, wanted to destroy some very powerful artifacts long before the new order. Knowing that to destroy these artifacts would uh, require a large amount of arcane prowess and power, and that he could not trust anybody else to, uh, to take this on. He instead sought for an answer from the gods themselves. The gods presented the box to this, this ancient ruler. The name of the ruler is curiously lost to history. The story of the box, however, is... The story of the box, however, remains. The box goes straight into the void. A plane of complete entropy and destruction. There anything within starts to slowly peter away into nothingness, regardless of its power. It is said that even certain gods are uh, loath to walk within. The artifacts were small enough to be able to be placed in the box. And so once each artifact did its role, some of them fair, some foul. He would take them and place them within the box. The box is a moving portal, you see. Always goes to the same place. Well, as much as places exist within the void. If you know of this box, it needs to be kept safe, kept secret from the world. This is uh. not something that can be destroyed. It is a hole in our plane of existence. It cannot be destroyed. Okay. Um, so may have lost the box. May not know where it is. Uh, may also be owned by some people that are using it. Uh, using it. They could only use it to destroy. Uh, you say that. Oh no. I mean, it couldn't even be used as a weapon unless you're trying to uh, take out gnomes. I suppose you could fit a gnome in. 
I mean, you can actually shrink people down. I mean, that's not actually terribly difficult. I mean, you know, that, that, that's not beyond the... the Make them into a duck. Writing. That would be a terrible way to go. <laughs> this would, that would be some sort of torture device. I, 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 no, I, I shudder to think. Uh, yeah. Uh. Standing behind the priestess is a large angel. Uh, <laughs> as, of now, as, of, as of this second. Uh, uh, yeah, there, there's a look on Farewell's face like, how the fuck did I miss that? Like, just like wide eyes, like, you know, like the whole cat thing where like the pupils dilate, like full on like that as he just sort of stands there and goes uh oh uh -oh. nothing ever good comes of this uh, the angel standing before you is about 8 foot tall um, uh, <laughs> bronze skin so a huge black mostly male presenting angel uh, bald head uh, inky black eyes uh, large um, kind of dove-like wings coming out of uh, their back with a... Uh, uh, but the, the wings are a, a silver grey. And um, instead of wearing armour, which is what you've seen one of the previous ones wear, uh, this one is wearing uh, scholar's robes and is holding a um, stone tablet in their hand. There are waves at the angel. Just doesn't say anything, just looks at it and just sort of, just very slight hand movement, just waves in its general direction. Toriel, the priestess cannot hear me or see me. It would be stupid if I introduced myself, right? You notice, as you look at the tabaxi, now that the tabaxi is frozen in time. Oh, one of those moments. <laughs> ah. Those were these things! Again! <laughs> this, yeah, this happens to me more than it should, I feel. Um, you provoke you... these things, Mr. Barebones. I don't mean to. And None I'm of the sorry. angels have called you Mr. Barebones before, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, father. Yeah, no father for you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly not bothered by Mr. Barebones. Surprisingly <laughs> quite happy with that. Uh, um, Your provocation of various events, events that are of an interest to the once mortal god draw us from our usual duties to where you are. It would be counterproductive for us to merely hide ourselves from you. I have a lot of questions, um, but I feel that you... Okay, um... Uh, well, let's get this. This is. Have you ever met somebody that, like you, you know, you know, that's like really famous or like really cool, and you don't want to sound stupid in front of them, and then they're like suddenly you find yourself in front of them, and you just can't talk, or you talk really like you know, it all just comes out at once, and you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying very up. Look, why are you here? Yes, I'm familiar with the sensation. My entire existence is based on the god that I speak to on a regular basis. She is literally my existence. Ah, cool. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I don't know I... if you're going to ask me or I'm just asking of you. I, I, I've never... You know, despite this happening a couple of times, usually you just talk at me and not often you converse. So this is new. 
As I said before, I am Toriel, and I am the Watcher of the Dark Fate. So, you are pursuing whatever has befallen your family and investigating that pathway into the void that once you were the custodians of your family, no longer. Yeah. The last time that our mistress spoke to you, she spoke to you about the fact that everything passes through the void, conceptually, of course. Yes. That as things go from existence to nothingness, that flow of energy, like a river, can be harnessed. Someone's tried it before, and someone's trying it again. We believe that the box was used. And though it is true that uh, one cannot physically stuff large creatures into it, an arcanist of sufficient skill should be able to use it as a conduit to send people into the void. Oh, that's horrible. It is our current belief that some sort of artifice, some sort of strange mechanism was constructed, like a temple, for example, in which your people, your family, so dedicated to our mistress and so attuned with the entropic planes, were taken as, I'm afraid I don't know a great deal about artifice, components, I guess is the word. Once they were set in place, the artifice mechanism was descended into the void. And now the person who went through this dark machination harnesses its power. Ordinarily, we would not have a direct input on this. Powerful creatures dominating, indulging in conquest, cruelty. This has happened throughout history. We normally are there to pick up the pieces and make sure that the greater fate of each individual goes to plan. It's kind of a full-time job, you understand. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. We're diverting resource towards this investigation. We cannot simply step into the void and look for your relatives. It's the void. It's endless. And in the time it would take us to even search for a short period of time, we ourselves would be consumed. There's a tether here in the prime material plane and it is obscured from the eyes of the gods. Only two beings in this universe are capable of such things, devils and demons. It is the defining trait of a fiend. So at some point along the way, somebody has harnessed or gained the favor of said creatures. But we believe that this is a member of the undead. One of the things that we are most voracious about is ending undead, as well you know. You took the oath. Yes. We believe that the greater undead is responsible for this. The types of magic required would tear up the soul of a living person. We believe that through phylactery, it was made safe. Fuck. We're talking full lit greater undeads 
Right. A lich so would be the... my. Uh, I am. Um, we do not indulge in gambling, but were we to play the figures just as a numerical exercise, a lich would be our first choice. Vampires are far too primal, far too distracted. There are other greater undead, of course. Sure. The Witch King, uh, for example. Yeah. Um, any idea where to start looking? I mean, I feel like I'm throwing questions out into the void and getting nothing back. And every step forward I take is just millimeters rather than steps. And I'm lost. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to start. I, I, I have, well, I haven't really tried. I'll be honest. But strangely, some I... strange turn of fate put you in contact with just the right person. Iden Canal. And the Canal Clan. Uh, just get fucked uh, up. Um, <laughs> about that. Um, so, I feel like I'm doing this twice rather recently. Um, he's not actually on this plane anymore. He kind of had to go and leave for family reasons. The angel passes his hand over the stone tablet and the room melts away and you're now in what you know to be an incredibly dark hall. You can hear a wind passing through it. Um, there seems to be very high up a set of windows um, through which you can see just the barest amounts of moonlight coming through. There's a banquet hall around you. Uh, you can see a large ornate fireplace that's long since coal. And you can hear in the hall with you, there's the whisperings of creatures skulking around in the darkness. You're quite safe. This is the dusk hold, or at least a representation of it. You're still in the room. Don't get up. And you look at, around you and you're still sat in the chair. This is the realm of the Canal Clan there. They are using the very nature of undeath in the war against the undead. This hall, this entire demiplane, is between the mortal world and a place called the Shadowfell. You know of it? Yes, yes. Um, very intimately. It's winding halls step between the two. And they are now using it as a new base of operations. Led by, well, the next generation of the clan. <laughs> you will in time have access to this. We're going to come to you with missions. You will be able to take down some of the greater undead and take some of their assets for your own. And with them, you should be able to start to scry for the one you seek. Do you accept this holy charge? Yes. I know that you have a personal element in that you want to rescue your family, but make no mistake, this is nothing less than a holy crusade of the Raven Queen. You shall be called upon. I uh, had a feeling that would happen. Uh, thank you. Um, Do not thank me. You work for she who protects us all. Remember, I am the watcher of the dark fate. And this is all I see. 
and he runs his hand off uh, uh, down the stone plate and suddenly the entire uh, the um, uh, the dust hole just falls away um, and you're not back in the office but you are stood in a sprawling wasteland and you can just see uh, that the sun isn't shining anymore, the sky is grey um, and you can see someone running crazed across a field. Um, you can imagine their heart pounding in threat of bit exploding across, uh, 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 exploding in their chest. And you can see that there's scores upon scores of undead chasing them down. And you know this to be basically the D and D version of a zombie apocalypse, which basically, <laughs> yeah, which is a hell of a, a hell of a lot more worse than any kind of you know Shaun of the Dead type of apocalypse that you can think of, um, because it has all the greater undead as well. You can see that there's a night, uh, there's a death knight up on the hill riding a nightmare and uh, watching as this crazy fox hunt of living people uh, goes on um, just watches completely impassively from his helmet I didn't really need the motivation I was I was pretty motivated to do it anyway um, so I had this thing about like happy memories I, I could really do with not seeing this anymore um, I've got enough bad ones to last a lifetime with a I gesture, it disappears. Thank you. I am. Um, I will do this, and I'll succeed, and I'll ask for nothing in return. As Just, do we all. We have our duty. Yeah. So you have your answers so far. We will find your first quarry and send it to you. And you shall uh, travel to your quarry by moonlight. And with that, the angel was never there. And so what you can see, if you look at the, in, the incantations here, is that uh, it was clearly a series of uh, supplications to the gods to ask for this box to be created in the first place. However, for the gods to do this, they would have had to have opened up a hole in existence represented by the box. The box largely is mostly a safety uh, mechanism uh, that you uh, can... Uh, 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 um, yeah, I know. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Um, uh, I don't think it was quite a divine intervention, but certainly, um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, thank you. Um, so, uh, could I take that scroll with me? Oh, but of course. Uh, and... The priestess gives it to you. Uh, I um, I I need to go talk to my friends. Um, uh, I, I'll be back. Uh, and he just gets up and just immediately walks out the door. <laughs> just, just... May the all knowing be with you. Uh, thank you. And he just, yeah, he does that walk where he's not quite running, but like not walking either. It's sort of like like really fast step, then sort of slow, then really fast step, then really slow, then really fast step, then slow. Just trying, it's like not <laughs> sprinting through the halls, just screaming, which is what he wants to do at the moment. He's probably not the right way to, to handle this. Um, yeah, and he sort of like, sort of walks into the room. Um, and you'll see that he kind of fella looks a bit more than a bit flustered and just point he's pointing at the scroll and he's just just looking at you all are you all right farewell would maybe you should sit down uh my what happened in there Something you're crazy? you're you're looking a bit pale um uh, you're looking more light blue 
green. I'm green. <laughs> yes, I'm but you're looking green. blue right now. I think you should sit down. <laughs> yeah. Um... It, 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 by the way, chat, it, it's, a, it's a running joke because Nick is colorblind and keeps insisting that, <laughs> that he is green. green. We, we, we've, just, we've just said that his thing is teal and that is, that is very much green and blue at the same time. Yes, yes it's yes. teal. But we all know colorblind people um, do uh, insist Love that teal is the... not a real color that does not <laughs> exist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a conspiracy. I love that color. The only power. color that it's actually doesn't exist is magenta. Yeah, but that's oh. a discussion for another day. <laughs> what? It's like the Welsh language. It doesn't exist. We do it just to troll the tourists. So. Exactly. It's just a bunch of guttural sounds. That yeah, we yeah. It's like no, yeah. two L's together. And, and then, then when you write, <laughs> see. And when you write, you just like smash your face into the keyboard for a bit. I was like, okay, Absolutely. that's a Welsh. <laughs> yeah. Our greatest writers are cats. Yeah, it's just, you know. Yeah. La, 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 cluck, cluck, cluck. Uh, Whatever that longest word is. Anyway. What? Stand for por gengi cobeir in dro bo chantisilio go go go. That's what you're talking about. That one. That, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Show off. Lovely neighborhood. So. So. In Rafa so bra, who did in Karin? Oh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're diverted. What is the scroll? Farewell. Um. Oh. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh. It, it, uh if he's not sitting spot. down, I pull him into a chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will need to be pulled into a chair because he's not really moved from the door. <laughs> so, um, oh, farewell. What happened now? What did you do? <laughs> I. Uh, I can safely say that I did nothing, although mm -hmm. everyone keeps telling me that I'm doing things, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not actually doing anything at all. Is I'm that... just asking questions, and I always ask questions, and that's not that's not really doing anything. That's just inquiring. Um, well, what did and you yet... do, Farewell? <laughs> I, 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 I asked about an item, a certain item that's important, and... For whatever reason, another messenger or angel, uh, an angel of the Graven Queen appeared and spoke to me. Right. Again. Cool. That's that cool. Isn't it? Very, it very cool. That often for uh, priests. I thought yeah. it was only the priestesses who uh, got to speak with the gods. Uh, Usually. Yeah. And, and not cool. Um, they, they they tend to ask you to do things, usually very dangerous things, usually things that in that include very little reward for an awful lot of pain and suffering and misery. Because, yeah, that sounds right. like religion. What uh, yeah. what have exactly. you been asked to do? Kill a lich. Oh, not too bad. All right. Then. So do we need to somehow call Aiden? Yeah. Yeah, he's done that, right? He's done that. Yeah, already. yeah. He had this like head that he brought oh, with yeah, him. Yeah, he did. He yeah, have a he did head. have a. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um. Well, apparently, I um I got to see his new training facility where they're making the next generations of the canals. That it looked nice. It was a little bit dingy and dark, you know. Well, it's a little bit right. That is a, like... Aiden in a nutshell. Yeah. Was there yeah, a bar? Yeah, I know. It, it, was it basically a bar and a bed? No, it was more like... Um, I thought he quit. It was... No, to be fair, it was pretty much a shithole. I mean, it was... You, you know what his room was like. It was... Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. It, it was an awful lot like that, but just on a grander scale. Um, Did you see him? But, Is he okay? No, I didn't. I didn't I see him. You're reducing but... the dusk hole to a bloody student room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a set of student digs, yeah. Um, yeah we take um, your stuff and we bend it. <laughs> <laughs> Twist it to our machinations. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So there's a good chance that I'm basically now going to get a list of very nasty undead or devil or demonic things that I'm going to have to go out and kill. 
Well, we'll um, help you. Yeah. So you're you're well, not gonna yeah, have to do I it was, alone. T- to be honest, I was kind of already volunteering you to do that anyway. Um, All right, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's more glory yeah. for me. And besides, if I if I can get the permission to send at least some proof back home, it'll be great for my social standing. Of course. You lich heads. Yeah. No, she can't have the head, but oh. she may be able to have a shard or two of the phylactery. I, I, no, <laughs> that is mine. I want the head. <laughs> no, a, a, a lich, anything, a, 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 you can do an awful lot of bad with parts of lich, and, and it's better if we just destroy it than, and yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah. Well. Did you anyway, get we need to get back to, to Ostergold this episode. How weirded out are the two uh, guys in the last in the two rounds? <laughs> they they are mostly kind of poring over their own things, so that mm-hmm. they're uh, they're not that worried about what you're saying at the moment, largely because they're not hearing you. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling it would have been um, vastly different if they were listening. <laughs> uh, kind of yes, and kind of no. Um, I know more about it. I don't really know. Well, that's not true. I could probably start looking for it soon and, and get a better understanding of what we're going after. But yeah. So you remember last night where I said I, it felt really nice to have that whole period of just, you know, everything's I calm. said, were it's you nice. speaking too soon? And you were. I was. We need to go back to Ostagon. And if I ever, 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 ever start talking like that again, you all have my permission to make me stop in any way you deem fit because I just need to be in that moment and not jinx it because then we end up like we are and you're yeah. quite right Eclipse. we need to go back to Ostergold because if we don't who knows Have what else we'll get a bad feeling about this ha, 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 ha. Yep. I had to <laughs> well, what, where, do yep. we, where do we need to go do we need to see your parents first tell them we're leaving we haven't uh, yes, uh, well, I've told him this morning and I'm planning to oh. said goodbye. So, um, Farewell, before we go, did, are you sure you don't want more of those shards from her brother? No, the, the one I've got is fine. Um, I got some cool things for back arm. I'll show you. I was going to say on the way, but the way takes seconds. I'll show you when we get there. <laughs> Teleportation okay. is so convenient. It does make we'll go and crazy, get our though. return ticket so we can get there with fifteen minutes to spare on the episode. <laughs> we only yeah. need to yeah. get there with the last if... second, don't we? Like, yeah, yeah, we're we're last... Get there with the last give me five to minutes to, so to do the preamble for the next episode. But yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, you have to set the scene, show us the dragons, that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, yeah, we do. We come back and there's five Wait. ancient dragons burning the city to the ground. <laughs> yeah, so fine. the it, city's that's screwed. That's there's one of these dramatic, floating yeah. over it. It's, you know, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That is quite terrifying like, with your head. In, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just a Simon on head. Top of my head. Yeah, yeah no, it's working. Yeah, so that's it's like, terrifying. That's a Beholder Plus. <laughs> that uh, uh, Death Tyrant. Uh, beholder, yeah. no, Beholder Ultimate Tyrant. Okay, yeah. so, wonderful. Yeah, it, Can't wait. It's uh, Beholder Plus. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you uh, you say your goodbyes and uh, head towards the teleportation uh, folly that is um, as part of of the Ahsoka Hall. Step inside, and with that same <laughs> gut lurch uh, lurching sensation, you find yourself. Suddenly, no longer with the exotic smells, and uh, you step out onto a, a city that seems endlessly grey. Smog from the I don't know. Are they making coal? I don't know. <laughs> uh, a high industry, so it, there's dust for pretty much everything. And <laughs> you um, start heading back to the Hawk and Harness uh, to drop off your stuff. You and... milky his presence. Mm-hmm. Because we bought him a present, or I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you get in there, and uh, Noki says, Ah, oh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Ah, so, 
uh, unfortunately, you have some business to attend to. And he uh, hi, uh, points to a very bored looking herald <laughs> reading a book in the corner. He goes, listen, come on, come on. You're getting paid for this, yes? And he, he looks up and goes, oh, puts the book away into his, uh, into his pannier bag and says, mm. uh, <clears throat> his grace, Duke Edmund Ostergold, Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, it's Grace Duke Edmund Ostermark. Sorry, Ostergold's the place, Ostermark is the family. Uh, Duke Edmund Ostermark uh, asks you to dine with him, well, feast with him, um, at your earliest convenience, which, now that you've arrived back, is tonight. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> please report to the palace um, an hour before Sunday. Oh, <laughs> lovely. I oh. have just the dress for this. He would like oh, to no. thank you for your services to the city, discuss further tactics with regard to the threat that we faced, and uh, bestow uh, an honor upon you all. Didn't, didn't this happen like a month ago? So like this yes. seems really weird because we already got honored. Didn't we already get like a yeah. badge yeah. or something? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's and we get, he gave us that armor, if you remember. He got the... the... The magical armor. Oh no, that that was his son that gave us that. Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, that was Tristane. Tristane yeah, gave you Tristain. the armor. Yeah, Tristane. Um, well, we still have time to go and confront Kronada, so we can do that, and then we can uh, go and dance to that. Oof. Still, 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 still work. <laughs> Um, I mean, I like putting things. You can off, do both next that, session. Yeah, yeah. that that feel, okay. That feels like. Yeah. Shaking your You've hornets. got a good few hours to go and quiz Renata before you go off and have uh, dinner with the ruler of the city. Mm -hmm. okay. He wants yep. to banquet, Not to feast with you. Yeah, I heard rodeo, feast and I thought about the tentacles. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh. Oh no, Gabe, we got you a present. Or, well, we picked it up while we were visiting. Uh... <laughs> Yes. Oh, we, you don't, we, don't, have. we don't. We don't. have a cow, so, uh, Jordan. But um, yes, we did gain one cow uh, on our. Uh, a win got an extra honor. But uh, cars uh, familiar. Mm. <laughs> gain one honor cow. Anyway, sorry for interruption. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, so uh, he says yes. Uh, now that they have uh, looked into the various. Uh, aspects of the invasion and the events leading up to it, uh, Duke Edmund would like to speak to you personally uh, without Ms. Green uh, to discuss decisions going forward to prevent such threats in future. Uh, we are so Eclipse, good. you got you got Nucky a present? What did you get? Oh, no, uh, it was... Um... Glory. 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 Uh, she bought that incense candle thingy that you put a little bit of wood in and it suddenly smells really nice everywhere. And you throw in the different crystals and it makes yeah. different smells. Um, yeah, he, uh, Noki takes it and goes, oh, this is so wonderful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And of course, we shall all enjoy it. I shall make sure that it's here. Um, and uh, he kind of starts rearranging part of the bar and puts it pride of place kind of, you know, in the middle of the back of the bar. Have you ever been to Nauru? Not Nuruka. No, 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 no. Where no. did we go? Nah. Yeah. No, we went to. Nah, did we not Naruka. Naruka? You went to the city of Naruka okay. in the country of Austran. Oh God! And you visit. You visited the Naru people. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Kate is awful. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway, so I uh, <laughs> you ask him. Hopefully not. Like I'm a dumbass. Uh, and I. Oh uh, yeah. Just have you? No, been... I've never been. Uh, uh, for me, it's. Uh, the, the summer aisles and here so and i take out but, one of uh, the mirrors and i put it down like look and i uh lift it up what do you see ah fantastic a snowscape that's beautiful yeah yeah, yeah. and then you <laughs> <gasps> oh it's, it's got an enchantment that's that's very cool it's amazing i'm keeping one uh summer summer gifts uh but yeah ah. so you can see what some of the narrow have seen it's very cool. Ah, from the, oh. that, that these seem to be from different uh, different places by the look at the, uh, the the plant life in the background. This yeah. Some sort of memory. I don't know how it's done, but from from hmm. the various travels. 
Uh, for the guys watching, uh, Noki is their tavern keeper. They they live in a tavern called the Hawk and Harness, um, and he is the height a, of luxury. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, well, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a big beautiful it's tavern in the middle good. of town. It's like the equivalent of a townhouse, and mm. um, he is a what I call a fourth edition. Um, Oh, uh, Kalashtar. Kalashtar. So, so uh, Kalash, uh, Kalashtar in fourth edition um, had uh, bronze skin and gold orbs for eyes, um, and uh, I just loved that art from back then. I've seen some of the newer art, the fifth edition art, but uh, Noki is one of those. Uh, so he's got braids uh, that are kind of pulled back uh, into a ponytail that go uh, most of the way down his back. He's got gold orbs for eyes, and generally very attractive. For some reason, guy. I keep he's thinking he's somewhere. a minotaur, Ma minotaur. I'm imagining some, something completely <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, I, I have a cluster okay. as well that you can find in the Discord a picture of. Um, oh, okay. yeah. oh, yeah, of course, yeah, because you've uh, you've been uh, a, a Kalashtar, what was she? She was a warlock? No, uh, a druid. druid. Druid, druid, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so uh, you have an engagement to go to. Where you're going to meet the warmongering High Duke of the Ostermark region oh, of oh South Vardenkor. And the whole well, soul catching yes. thing that we've never really Glory's discussed. You're going to need to brush up all of their yeah. etiquette in a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as Kate has pointed out, yeah, there's just a small issue of all of his soldiers carrying a badge that you're pretty sure are miniature soul cages. Yeah. So... Yeah, there's that. Oh, so thanks, Simon. We We've got so much to do. <laughs> yeah, so you've got uh, a lich to kill, uh, okay. and you have to hunt hunt by going through some undead. You've got to find the lost city of uh, of Jorodan the Great. Of course. Um, you've rescue got to rescue a sister at some point. Potentially. Rescue a sister at some point. Yeah. You've got to uh, so fig figure rescued, out like, and passively. potentially defeat or control or ally with, depending on what her answers are like a time-traveling entity that seems to have been around for at least the last uh, thousand years. And, uh, oh yeah, and stop a, uh, a well, you're not sure if he's demonic, he uses demons, but uh, a dark entity from the uh, beginning of time of creation itself. One uh, oh, so get everyone the happy to get on the boat? All. Yeah, yeah, so. We have a party to get to. Pirate session yeah, it is, guys, on. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on your boats, never come back. Yeah, we're, like, yeah, we're, we're, yeah. Out, we're out, we're out, we're going island. to pirate. <laughs> yeah, we got an yeah, island to spruce we, up. Yeah, yeah that island. Grand island. Design. We, we work got, with We got a grand designs that place. It's, it's all fine and yeah. dandy. Oh, it's great. So who's up for picking up enough booze to pickle ourselves within the next 14 months? Going to a tropical <laughs> island and then drinking until we can't see anymore. Sounds good. Yes. Everybody <laughs> takes four ranks of alcohol. Uh, 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 four alcohol. ranks of alcohol. <laughs> four ranks of alcohol. <laughs> I can now Excellent. belch with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We all now we take no we take four levels of monk drunken fist, is it? <laughs> yeah, we all yes. we all become drunken fist monks. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Thank you very much everybody. That was uh I, I must admit some of the bits didn't expect to go to uh, go to those places and uh yeah, I I kind of expected just to give uh um, farewell a bit of a lore dump at some point and just give it to him as a, a word document, but I kind of enjoyed playing the angel, so <laughs> Oh dear. Oh yeah, play um, this character You've got a list that's growing, but hey, you're level 10 That's uh, oh. how it works, oh, no. right? I thought suddenly you yeah, were telling we us we'd leveled, leveled up I was like, No, oh, we haven't leveled but we, we have Oh god, we don't need more. to, it's okay <laughs> We've uh, faffed, and it's fine Besides. You, you, you've you've had a, a bit of a character vacation, yeah. but now it's time to get back into it. So uh, you will you will I be mean... chatting to Renata Green, mm -hmm. your benefactor, your time traveling benefactor, mm -hmm. and uh, the Duke next week, and then after that, that will lead on to some interesting times. Yes, and uh, are we? raiding anyone tonight 
Uh, well, Kate though, wanted to show her minis first. I was about yes, to say, we've, yeah. we've got Kate showing the minis and then potentially a raid. Uh, well, you you have, do you want to search for a raid? I'm searching now. This is, okay, this is never going to focus. Hold on. Um, so, so uh, yes, just to, to uh, let you know, chat, I ordered some minis over from um, from Hero Forge, one of which was Cora. I ordered two others uh, for my characters, one deceased character from my home game and one current character from my home game. Um, uh, but I, yes, but I wanted to... I ordered there. my dead character. I did. I ordered my dead character. I must honor him somehow. Um, mm -hmm. You're gonna play your best characters. You're always gonna play again sometime. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'll make him work at some point. Right. So this is. To be cool. fair, he didn't. He didn't deserve to die. He never deserved to die. Is that <laughs> he working? He didn't deserve. To die. Uh, that was that. Is that Rogar? Then. No, no. This is this is this is core. Yeah, Rogar died. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see? Is it working? Find it. Oh, 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 there we go. So there she is. That's so cool. Yes. So I, de I decided, because um, I, I redesigned her slightly when I went in the other day, and um, originally I had that harp, you know, like the shaved side, but um, uh, I didn't quite like the hairstyle on that design as much. And I thought, if I really want to, I might be able to just wear it. <laughs> With, you know, use a little file to just get rid of a little bit of hair because it's not a huge section missing. And I was saying, and I keep forgetting to say it in game, that actually, uh, character-wise, you guys are noticing that she's not really shaving it anymore. It's kind of starting to grow out. Oh, um, oh. she's not. Uh, yeah, uh, she's, she's not. She's not so worried about focusing on it anymore she doesn't need it as a reminder so much yeah makes yeah. sense yeah there's my mini which i'm gonna try paint and which then maybe if we ever do a game in one place then i can use that <laughs> yeah well i could take it i suppose one, i can yeah. also take a photo yeah 100th episode live episode yeah yeah that'd be awesome yeah, yeah. Every, everyone around the table Hopefully I will. I will is over. <laughs> take a, a photo and we and I can use her How in the role. Are we gonna years. pay for my flight? Well, maybe, maybe if time. we get enough Someone's bits, we'll get super there. cheap at the moment. So. Yeah, well, yeah, no one's we'll, travel we'll... anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once we break the uh, hundred dollars barrier and Twitch pays out, then we'll have the ability. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for our raid, uh, Table Story have a three hundred and eight viewers. I don't think they need a raid. Uh, they don't, um, but they are amazing. I love Table Story. They are my they new favorite. They are lovely, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've become a big fan. Uh, Encounter I've, Roleplay I've... only have um, 39 viewers. Let, so let's raid Encounter. Yeah. Because reasons. Well, yeah. Oh, I, yes. I was about to say, but I we can't, Encounter that we can't for a long discuss time. yet. Ah, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, so let's go with that then. And uh, so. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I've what, just realised I'm not the one. What are they actually playing at the moment? Do we know? They are currently playing uh, Modifius's uh, Star Trek at the moment. Ooh, so, okay. uh, yeah. Although they've put it under Dungeons and Dragons, which I found quite funny. Uh, yeah, well, they should have put it they... under tabletop RPG. Oh, they do. Start, yes. Do you want to start the raid, Kate? Because I think it's you who have the That's power. That's true. It's probably me with the power. I was just opening uh, that up because actually, otherwise any, you end any up. Any of us who are signed in can just type actually, in any mod slash raid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and I just need uh, to make sure I close the stream. So for anyone who doesn't come you. raid with us, I will end the stream. Um, yeah. But yes, thank you. In fact, I'll go to... We can wave goodbye and I'll go to long time... Uh, our, our sign out credits thing and then we can do the raid. If you know okay. what I mean. So we can actually say goodbye to people before we hit... We, before we raid, essentially. So, um, yeah. but yeah. Okay, so we'll see you guys... Who's actually hitting the raid button? Oh... <laughs> uh... I, I guess because you you know who you we're raiding, so I think that's probably better. I can okay. get it sorted. It's just yeah. I don't. Probably. Okay, yeah. If you do it, Kate, because you've got all the uh, production governs there, then you'll be able to do the. Is it over. is it explanation raid or is it slash? I can never remember. Slash. Okay, slash cool. raid. Slash raid. Right, it's raid. ready to go. So um, we don't know. Do we know what we're streaming next apart from obviously the benefactor next Friday? Are we maybe so, doing some spontaneous things? 
Uh, it's my intention to, yeah. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything this weekend, uh, but on Tuesday, there's a, every possibility we'll be doing uh, Star Wars again. The, uh, they mm -hmm. seem to be into it um, at the moment. And uh, last time uh, we had people throwing channel points at them to give them bonus dice and uh, and, and flip things. Uh, yeah, it worked yeah, really well. It was it worked really well. I tell you, we have to try more. Yeah. We're, yeah. um, and, uh, yeah, exciting thing about when you become a subscriber is you get double amount of channel points so you can do more stuff. Yes. So Jordan, Which if you keep watching us, keep yeah, yeah. watching us and I give us loot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling this, you, give us this is loot. still an experiment. So we might be, you know, tweaking as we go to find out how it out, how everything's working. So the more you guys can, can do and show us how it's working. And what you like and don't like, then we'll we can yep. adapt and change. And we may be adding things in, taking things out, changing yep. the different values of them as things go along, especially if they seem to be unattainable. But I kept the loot bombs quite uh, quite high because they are going to be big bombs, um, yes. and only one per Remove stream. Our so. Loot bomb. I want my loot. But well, well, oh. there's also the option of tweaking some things like loot drops to donations instead of channel points you know yes well that's that's the next thing is to uh find out what the equivalent donation would be yeah, obviously probably... it's going to be less of a donation yeah. uh than it would be channel points but uh yes um, yeah. i think uh making it a bit donation is good because a lot of people normally have bits to throw down I, yeah. oh yeah, I realize it'll be bits, yeah well we actually probably should start running some ads during our break so that because i think yeah. that can generate some money so that would be good yeah. and people know we're on a 10 minute break anyway so um yeah. anyways yeah, we'll... we could, yeah, we can make a smaller loot drop as well, Jordan. That's a good idea. Yeah, so... I think... Oh, where did I read that? I read somewhere uh, about Twitch ads and stuff that if you run one every 20 minutes or so, then you won't have the ad when someone first clicks on a stream before That's the right. stream starts. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. So... so just having anyway, a one or two uh... minute break to... Shall we raid? Yeah, we yes. have three people left in chat. <laughs> I know, but that's some of us. Doesn't matter. We'll we'll rate them anyway with three damn people, even if one of them is me. Okay, uh, right. Well, we'll see you all uh, later. Follow us later. to know when. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.